Ready for high school football action with the new Philadelphia Quakers on WJER. 
online at WJER.com and on the WJER mobile app. Special features of the game include the first Federal Community Bank football forecast, the Wendy's starting lineup, the National Anthem, sponsored by VFW Post 1445, the commercial and savings bank keys to the game, the Grove gift shop coin toss, play-by-play coverage brought to you by Hanhart Insurance, the Tuscarawas County YMCA kickoff, make the call, sponsored by McInturf Realty, the Pam's Posies performance play, the modern menswear halftime report, the Kemp Insurance Stat Report, the Game and Scoring Summary, brought to you by Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital, the Pets Place Red Zone, the Cartoons In-Game Score, the Kent State Tuscarawas Scoreboard, and the Subway Player of the Game. Other sponsors include Troyer's Trail Baloney, Wood Electric, Pangrazio's, Cure Refinishing, Sugar Valley Meats, Omni Fiber, Henry Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Michael's Restaurant, Dr. Nathan Springer Orthodontics, Connolly Hillier and Welch Title Services, Williams Floor Covering, Hennis Care Center, Little Caesars Pizza, Solid Rock Photos, Smartway Communications, Dover Philly Heating and Cooling, the T County Boxing Academy, and McDonald's. Now, get ready for live play-by-play action with your new Philadelphia Quakers on the Sports Voice of the Valley, WJER. It's the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by WJER Sports in partnership with Smartway Communications, Sugar Valley Meats, and Williams Floor Covering. And I want to welcome you into the Coach's Corner Show. It is week number five upcoming, and uh, Willie Grove now with Coach Mike Johnson of the New Philadelphia Quakers. Coach, uh, we were just talking, you know, uh, Four turnovers in a game, and yet I wouldn't say you dominated, but you came pretty close to dominating that game last Friday night against Ashland. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there were times where, where they moved the ball a little bit, uh, but by and large, I thought our defense took care of what we wanted them to take care of. They came out, they played great. Uh, we, we forced a, a turnover late. Uh, Jordy Dela Cruz got an interception downfield. Our defensive line put pressure on the quarterback. Linebackers were able to get home and they blitzed. And it was, it was nice to, to see it. When they ran the ball, we were able to rally and tackle. Talk to me about the running back that you kind of brought out this year and all of a sudden he's, he's a feature uh, carrying the ball quite a bit. He's it, it, your workhorse. He is. He, he is. He, he takes a lot of pressure off everybody else on the offense. And we have other people doing well. And I think part of it is there's less pressure when you know you can hand it to Etney. And Etney Richardson's picking up. I, I wish I had looked at the stats. I think he's got 620 some yards here through four games, which is that hasn't been done here in a while. So we're, we're really proud of him. But he gets out. He, he works hard. He hustles every play. He, he practices hard. Uh, every once in a while, you'll look up on scout team and you're like, what the heck's he doing in there? But he just he loves football. He wants to play hard. And uh, I mean, even after he scores a touchdown, the next play, he's in on kickoff running down there to make a tackle. And he and he doesn't want to come out for that. So uh, it, you love it when you have guys like that, like Etney, and he's doing a tremendous job. The guys in front of him have done a good job getting mm-hmm. pushed to, to let him make his cuts. And uh, it, it's allowed Keaton and then a couple of skill guys outside, whether it's Owen Shellis, Pete Donato, or Carson Long had a good game on Friday night catching the ball. Sounds like a pretty good win. Now this Friday, Mansfield Senior, you got to hit the road again, and a team that uh, has a couple losses, but a couple impressive wins so far. What do you know about them? Uh, they're good. They're good. It's a good football team. They have a uh, a wideout who's who's very explosive and fast, who they look to get the ball to. They have a, a quarterback who throws it well, runs it well. Uh, a couple of good running backs, uh, and then the defense is is big and they get after you. They have an outside linebacker who 
Uh, I know last year batted a pass and picked it. I saw him do that against West Holmes last week. Mm -hmm. He's he, he's a pretty good football player. So we're just going to have to make sure that we, we play as well as we can fundamentally and kind of put it all together where we're getting closer. Uh, so hopefully this after this week of practice, we can be a little bit better. So week number five so far, everybody healthy? Anything to report there? No, everybody's healthy. We're just... Raring to go. I can't believe it's week five. <laughs> I know. We're halfway through. Mike, thanks again for joining us. Thank you. That's Coach's Corner again now from New Philadelphia. This has been the Coach's Corner Show for WJER Sports. Brought to you by Smartway Communications, Sugar Valley Meats, and Williams Floor Covering. There are a lot of steps between conceiving, carrying, and cradling your baby. No matter what stage of motherhood you're in, our team at Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital will be there every step of the way. From your first visit to your first baby, we provide expert care right in the Tuscarawas Valley. Our team partners with each patient to create a custom birthing plan, ensuring the comfort and health of you and your baby for every care in the world. To learn more or schedule an appointment, visit unionhospital.org motherhood. Pets Place in New Philadelphia is your locally owned leader in pet supply and wellness. Pets Place has products for pets from fish to ferrets, from bunnies to birds, even reptiles, and of course, everything you need for cats and dogs. Stop by and talk to one of their knowledgeable team members about the frequent buyer program. Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 8 and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 6. You can also visit at PetsPlaceOhio.com or on Facebook. Everyone will be talking about tonight's Quaker football game at Michael's Restaurant tomorrow morning. Stop into Michael's for a homemade breakfast and recap tonight's game with your fellow Quaker fans. The eggs and home fries are fresh, the coffee is endless, the hotcakes are stacked high, and Quakers young and old will be reliving tonight's game. Stop in for a bite and show your Quaker pride. Michael's Restaurant is open 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. tomorrow at 134 East High Avenue in downtown Philly. Locally owned and operated by proud Quaker alum Doug McCahill. Go! Quakers. We are the Tyson family and we would like to invite you to come visit your Little Caesars Pizza on West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Fall is in the air and there's never been a better time to try the delicious mouth-watering deep, deep dish pizza at Little Caesars. Pair your pizza with the crazy bread, crazy sauce and a two liter of Pepsi and Little Caesars is your one stop for your game day party. Delicious pizza, mouth-watering wings, zesty cheese breads, crisp made daily salads, crazy bread and more. Come visit us at Little Caesars Pizza on West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to WJER Radio's continuing coverage of the high school football season. Denny Trimmer and Phil Tidrick with you from Mansfield Seniors, Arlen Field, on a beautiful Friday night for high school football. Phil, it's already week five. What happened? Well, that, that that's to me, is really amazing, Denny. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the football season, you know, ten, ten games long plus playoffs. And it, it, it goes really, really quick. I guess time, you know, the old saying, time flies when you're having fun, Denny. Well, both these teams enjoying some fun thus far on the season. New Philadelphia comes in with a 3-1 record. They are 2-0 and in conference play. Also 2-0 and in conference play are the Mansfield Senior Tigers. Both of these teams with impressive wins one week ago. Phil, you called the action last week for the Quakers as they took down Ashland at home. Yeah, the, the, the Quakers really, really played well, Denny. I mean, you were right there close, real close to me uh, last Friday night, and I thought the Quakers dominated really from the opening kickoff, you know, until the, in, until the end of the game. And, you know, as a coach, you know, that's really all you can ask is, you, you know, you ask your people up front to go get it done and give yourself a chance. I mean, you do have some, some pretty skilled people uh, in the backfield behind them. And uh, I thought for sure that that was definitely the Quakers' offense and defensive line best game of the year, Denny. And we're going to let Coach break that down further after this next timeout. But, hey, if you couldn't tell, we have you covered for tonight's action. It's, it's DT, it's Coach Phil, and uh, we've got the action for you. But if you need coverage of insurance stuff, so home, auto, life, you know, the real important things, not just 
football on Friday nights. Call Handhard Insurance, 330-343-7767. You can find them online at handhardinsurance.com. And, of course, uh, that great office that we all know so well on West 3rd Street in downtown Dover. Handhart Insurance, uh, they've got you covered. We're going to take time here when we come back. We will let Coach Phil dive into uh, some of the numbers and some of the key personnel from last Friday's big win over the Ashland Arrows. Uh, it's more high school football pregame up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Life is full of milestones. Getting married, purchasing a vehicle, having children, buying a home, opening a business, planning for retirement. The list goes on and on, and you can enjoy these special moments even more knowing you're covered by the Handheart Insurance Agency. Life, auto, home, disability, business, they have plans to protect you throughout all your milestones. Handheart Insurance on West 3rd Street in downtown Dover, a trusted name in insurance for more than 100 years. Welcome home to the serenity and the hospitality of the Hennis Care Center in Dover and in Bolivar. Since 1947, four generations of the Hennis family have stood as leaders in the area with up-to-date facilities and caring, compassionate staff. With the care, safety, and happiness of every resident in mind, Hennis Care Center is a home filled with love, laughter, and amenities like chef-prepared meals, rehabilitation services, and social activities. To learn more, visit them online at henniscarecenter.com. Hi, this is Zarek with Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. How healthy is the air you breathe? When air quality outside is bad, you can breathe easy inside your home with air purifiers, high quality air filtration, and other fine products from Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. We are your local train comfort specialist in downtown Dover, providing 24-hour emergency service since 1981. For all your home comfort needs, call us at 330-343-5511. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Conley Hillier and Welch Title Services can assist property owners with navigating the real estate sale and closing process in sale by owner transactions, including home sales and vacant ground sales. The staff at Conley Hillier and Welch Title Services prepares purchase agreements and transfer deeds in sale by owner situations. Give office manager Renee Beam a call at 330-602-1800 to discuss your sale by owner matter. We love our pets, accidents and messes included. Shaw Floor's Pet Perfect Carpet helps you love confidently with protection from everyday messes and odors. Designed with the whole family in mind, Pet Perfect features built-in protection from staining, fading, and pet hair. Make tails wag with Shaw Floor's Pet Perfect. Designed for you, perfect for your pet. Find Shaw's Pet Perfect styles at Williams Floor Covering, 98 Southwester Avenue in Dover. And don't forget, we'll have a Subway player of the game for you at the conclusion of this contest, like we do all games broadcast on WJER. We are glad to have you with us tonight in this format. This is a uh, stream game for us uh, from Mansfield Senior High School's uh, Arlen Field. And uh, courtesy of the great team at Claxon Communications, we're bringing you this game live uh, as it happens in video and audio. Uh, for those of you that are watching, you can watch on our YouTube channel. You can also catch the game by going to WJER's website, wjer.com slash videos. Uh, for those that are perhaps driving around, not able to uh, get the game on the radio, but uh, hey, you've still got that app on your phone, you can find us on the WJER free app for your smartphone or tablet as well. Glad to have you with us. It's a uh, showdown at the top of the OCC right now. Both these teams 2-0. and coming in, the Quakers and the Tigers. And, Phil, when we look back to a week ago, uh, kind of a statement win at home from New Philadelphia. That's probably the best defensive effort we've seen for four quarters all season. And I think if you didn't already know that the identity of this team was going to be, hey, we're going to run the football and push it down your throat, Edney Richardson had something to say about that just to let you know as well. You know, he, he, he really did. And, and, and you know, uh, if anybody's watched the Quakers, which obviously you and I, you know, we, we have for the last however many years. And, uh, you know, you watched him come up as a sophomore, and he got a little bit of time right at the end of games, et cetera. You know, he was so small. Last year he got in a little bit there, you know, mop-ups and things like that. And, uh, you know, whenever he, he was in, you know, he, he made the most of those opportunities, and now it's his turn. And I want to tell you what. 
what what an opportunity he what a job he has done given the opportunity this year and you know that's what's that's what's so nice to see it's so nice to see you know a guy who's stayed the course you know didn't complain wasn't getting playing time as a, a sophomore and junior and now what we're going to turn around and see is we're going to turn around and see a young man who's going to rush for well over a thousand yards this this season and i and i think that's something very special but you know give the offensive lineman credit you know, the, the offensive linemen uh, were obviously fantastic, and I'm going to give them a little credit right now if you don't mind. You know, you've got Hudson Osborne at center, Damian Robinson and Brady, uh, Lindsey at the guards. You've got Boston Crowell and Garrett Dillon Ryan at the tackles. You've got Owen Schillis and Lucas Yeager at, at the tight ends positions. And I, I can't say enough about the job that those guys have done this year for the Quakers. And uh, I think we'll probably get into a little bit of individual stats here in a little bit. But, Denny, I, that was the best defensive por- performance that I've seen from the Quakers in quite some time. And that's not knocking any other teams that we've had because we've had some pretty doggone good defenses in the past. But that 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 uh, performance they played, you know, they had last Friday night against the uh, against the Arrows. You know, they got a six foot five inch sophomore quarterback who's being recruited by Division I people. You got a five nine, two hundred and twenty pound running back. And uh, the Quakers held them to about a hundred, about hundred and forty five or hundred and fifty total yards. Pretty impressive, Denny. Well, it was impressive and uh certainly gonna be a, a test of what we saw last week tonight going against a very skilled Mansfield Senior Tiger lineup. It's time for our McInturf Realty Make the Call segment. Uh, just know, friends, when it's time to make the call in our area, when it comes to real estate, you can call Jan or any of his outstanding realtors uh, at McInturf Realty. They've got a great website, a great app, uh, all the modern ways to get in touch and find out more about what's available or uh, if you're looking to sell as well. Certainly, Jan and his team ready to help you with that. Uh, our officials tonight uh, Darren Holiday leads the officiating crew, and uh, we'll watch them closely as the night goes on. Uh, but again, the Make the Call segment, a service of McInturf Realty. We'll take time here. When we come back, yeah, we're going to let Coach dive into those stats he was talking about. Passing numbers, catching numbers, running numbers. Who knows what all he's got up his sleeve? That's all up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Hi, this is Jan McInturf, wishing our local teams the best of luck in tonight's games. Supporting your friends and neighbors is why I started McInturf Realty. Our staff works as a team to treat you the way you want to be treated. We truly care about you, our customer. Since 1992, we've seen national real estate firms move into our area. And now McInturf is one of the few remaining local hometown realtors. We are a local company supporting our local teams. And we thank you for your support. As my granddaughter Mason says, Make a call. And find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Looking for a nice backup camera system for your car, truck, or RV? Check out Cartoons and Accessories in New Philly for all your camera safety solutions. Cartoons has camera systems starting at just $2.99 installed. Cartoons carries camera systems that can be added to your dash, your rear view mirror, or complete standalone systems. Camera systems can even be added to your factory radio screen in most cases. We also carry backup beeping avoidance systems as well. So check us out today. Cartoons and Accessories, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly, 330-339-2006. Be there. Since 1912, people have enjoyed the delicious taste of Troyer's Trail Bologna. Whether it's off the ring, on a sandwich, or with cheese and crackers, one thing is for sure, you know it will be delicious. Troyer's Trail Bologna, five generations and over 110 years of quality and tradition. Look for Troyer's Trail Bologna at your local grocery store and check them out online at troyerstrail.com. Good luck to all the players in tonight's game. Tired of unreliable internet service and unexpected bill increases? Experience internet another way, the smart way. Smartway Communications is your locally owned and operated high-speed internet provider now serving Dover and New Philadelphia and beyond. Don't get locked into plans with more or less speed than you need. Smartway is the better way. Local customer service, local infrastructure, and community-minded. That's the smart way to get reliable, affordable internet in Tuscarawas County. Call Smartway at 740-254-8201 online at ThinkSmartWay.com. 
This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yorksville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. Sunny and 68 is your First Federal Community Bank football forecast. What a night here in Mansfield. Football forecast, a service of First Federal Community Bank. And my goodness, forecast your financial future with First Fed investing in our community since 1898 member fdic uh phil i don't think uh betsy kling could forecast a night like this per uh, so perfect for high school football yeah it, it doesn't really get much better you don't have a cloud in the sky <coughs> excuse me you've got a beautiful stadium and uh and the quakers got an opportunity here to uh you know, maybe take control of the uh, OCC here with a win tonight, Denny. This is a beautiful stadium, as you mentioned. Uh, Scary, though. Well, there's no railings. <laughs> we had to walk. <laughs> Phil and I and our achy hips and knees had to walk up about 30 flights with no railing and all the radio equipment. But we're just fine. And uh, say a quick little prayer for our trip back down at the end of the game. Uh, we want to jump in to, to Phil. I know you took time to, to kind of pour through the uh, – almost mid-season stats and, and talk about the leaders a little bit. What do you have numbers-wise in, in terms of what the Quakers have produced this year? Okay, well, thanks, Denny. And, and uh, well, it obviously all starts, you know, with the rushing attack. I, you know, I'm pretty partial to that. You know, I'm pretty partial to the offensive linemen, even though I didn't play line when I played. But my son did, and uh, so I have a tendency – to watch the offensive line if I can if I can and do stats at the same time. But for the Quakers, no surprise to anybody who's heard about the Quakers. Leading rusher uh, on the season is Etney Richardson. He has carried the ball 95 times, 627 yards. That's 6.6 6 yards per game. That's Nick Chubb. With six TDs through uh, four games. So that, that's, that's pretty impressive in itself. Uh, not bad. Next is quarterback Keaton Fossil, who has carried the ball 51 times for 205 yards. That's a four-point uh, yard, uh, yard per game. And uh, coming in third for the Quakers is Jaden Bolts, who usually only plays in the uh, big package, and he has six carries for 25 yards. Coach, I'm going to stop you right there. How important is it to have a one-two punch, even if that second part of the punch is a running-style quarterback? Fossil with the ability to use his legs as much as his arm. Well, I, I think what that does sometimes is that puts a, you know, that can put a little bit of a bind on the defensive team, knowing that any time we're, you, and we have that where we fake the ball to Richardson and, and the quarterback keeps it. You know, we also run some quarterback draws and, uh, you know, he shows he's shown so far in the 14 or 13 games that he's been the quarterback for New Philadelphia that he's not afraid to pull it down and run. He has good speed, some elusiveness there, and so forth. So I, I think that bodes pretty well. Now, through the air, uh, Keaton Fossil is 45 of 70, 64%. That's awfully good for a high school for a high school quarterback. That means to me that he's making the right decisions and getting the ball out at the right time. And uh, you know we're not necessarily throwing it way down the field a whole bunch, but you know you can you know you can get some yardage after you know with runs after catch, which is what some of our boys have done. But anyway, uh, 512 yards. 128 yards a game for uh, Keaton Fossil. Six TDs, two interceptions. So, uh, leading receivers. You've got Owen Schillis, seven catches for 115 yards and a TD. You've got Carson Long, nine catches for 97 yards and a TD. Jordy Dela Cruz, seven catches for 86 yards. P.D. DiDonato leads the team in receptions with 11 for 85 yards. Eddie Richardson, 
six for 65 yards and three big TDs. Uh, Lucas Shager, three for 32. C.J. Carlisle's got one for 24. And Vincent Magoni, one for eight. All in all, the Quakers are averaging approximately 350 yards per game. 214 on the ground, 128 through the air. All in all, it adds up to a 3-1 and one New Philadelphia record so far. So at 3-1, and one, and those impressive numbers, uh, both running and passing, and we've really yet to see a bust-out game from Jordan Fossil. He's been efficient. He's been able to move the chains with his arm in his legs. We have yet to see that 300-yard, four-touchdown game. We know that's possible with him in this offense. So uh, perhaps something we see tonight or continuing down the road. You know, the only way to me that you're going to see that one is if we get stuffed on the run and he has to drop back and throw the football every play. I, I personally think Coach Johnson's kind of a man after my own heart, kind of a, you know, kind of slug it out, sit in the trenches and get it done up front, run the football. And uh, I like that football too. It's not necessarily the most exciting uh, style of football that you're ever going to see, but you know what? Oh, it doesn't have to have style points. You just got to have that W at the end of the game. So when I throw it to you for our commercial and savings bank keys to tonight's game, I'm thinking you're going to point to play at the line of scrimmage and uh, being able to pound the ball out tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty predictable. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we have to control the line of scrimmage. The other thing I'm going to say is defensively, you know, we can't give up any big plays. You know, you can't let, the, you can't let their, the runners – uh, Petrie, you can't let him bust one for 70 yards. You can't let Duke Reese sit back there and pick us and, and throw a 75-yard bomb. You know, I, I think what you've got to do is you've got to make the Tigers, you know, you got to make them earn it. And that means they've got to go the whole length of the flo- uh, field to, in order to get some points. That's our commercial and savings bank keys to tonight's game. They've got great locations in New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, Bolivar, and Janaton Hutton with CSB. You gain more than convenient access to products and services. You're invited into a network of relationships that contribute to the well-being of our community. Learn more at csb1.com. When we return, more pregame festivities as we inch closer to tonight's kickoff. It's the Quakers and the Tigers up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Attention local businesses. Are you looking to expand, invest, or start a new venture? This is Chris Delatour at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We know that growing your business takes more than just hard work. It takes the right financial partner. At CSB, we offer a range of commercial lending solutions tailored to your unique needs. From equipment financing to expansion loans, our team of experts is ready to support your success. Call or text us at 800-654-9015 to discuss your business goals today. The Commercial and Savings Bank, empowering local businesses. Member FDIC. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They're the place to call for industrial, commercial, and residential work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Whether you're looking for a little extra income on the side or an exciting full-time career with endless potential for advancement, our local McDonald's has an opportunity for you. Flexible schedules, competitive pay, fun perks, and a supportive team environment are all part of the package. A job at McDonald's is one of a kind, just like you. Wherever you are in life, you can find a meaningful career at McDonald's, and it comes with a side of whatever makes you happy. Apply online at mcdonalds.com today. If you're looking to make someone smile or brighten a day, call the floral experts at Pam's Posies. Pam's delivers beautiful, fresh bouquets daily for any occasion. Visit Pam's on the boulevard across from the hospital. You can grab and go unique designs from their large 15-foot cooler. They also have houseplants, gifts, seasonal decor, boutique items, and so much more. Get unique designs with beauty and elegance every time at pamsposies.com. That's pamsposies.com. And welcome back to WJER's continuing coverage of Quaker football. Glad to have you with us here on WJER, whether you're listening uh, on the app or you're 
watching us. Yes, watching the live stream. And hey, listen, if you're watching the live stream right now, get on your social media, tweet it out, share it with a friend on Facebook, let them know where they can watch and listen to tonight's game. Uh, for those that are listening, when you get home, dial us up. Find us uh, on our YouTube channel, the WJER YouTube channel, or find us directly on the WJER website, wjer.com slash videos. We want to talk about other games happening. This is uh, one of four conference games taking place in the OCC. Uh, Phil, Ashland that we saw a week ago is at Mount Vernon. West Holmes is at Madison. Lexington is at Worcester. All eyes, though, seem to be here watching these 2-0 and teams. Well, you know, it, to me, you know, obviously we've beaten Ashland. We've beaten, beaten Worcester. Uh, and it seems to be, and then senior beat West Holmes, which to me, uh, the team that won the championship the year before is always, the, you know, is always the dog that's, that hunts, is hunted because, uh, you know, it has to go through them because they were the defending champs. But uh, Mansfield uh, senior took that to them, the Tigers. Uh, was it 38-28, I believe? And uh, here at, at Arlen Field, and we had our scouts up here last night and said that, that the Tigers are the real deal. They're pretty good, and, and uh, West Holmes just had no, really had no answer for them. We're getting set for our Grove Gift Shop coin toss, and as we look down on the field, it's the familiar captains for New Philadelphia. I see Garrett Dillon Ryan, Owen Shellis, Jaden Bolts, and Zach Rothrock uh, ready to walk across and uh, talk with Darren Holiday and get the uh, do's and don'ts for tonight's contest. Of course, the Grove Gift Shop, the Grove family, great supporters of uh, high school broadcasts here on WJER. Willie Grove, our sports director. Boy, they've got a good one tonight, Phil. Uh, Steubenville invading the brick house on what's going to be an emotional night in Dover. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I think Dover, obviously, they went back to the five wide again offensively and so what you've got is you've got a situation where they're going to be ready to play they're they're honoring long time uh excuse me long time tornado club president and just all around great guy maddie stevens who just passed here recently and uh, he is you know obviously he was my age and we, we were good buddies uh and so they're going to honor him, and that would be an emotional time. I really believe that. Well, it's going to be an emotional night. He did so much for uh, Tornado Sports in general, but uh, clearly it was uh, almost every game night seen right on uh, Dan Hips or Dan Ifs Hip. Uh, Dan wasn't getting much done without Matt's approval there on the sidelines <laughs> and on game nights, and Matt kind of runs the show. Oh, he, he let people know what was going on for sure. You know, he, the one thing about Maddie that that I always liked, you know, is, you know, if he didn't like something, he'll let you know. You know, he's not one to hold back. And uh, he was a good man. He did a lot for the for the student athletes at Dover uh, for a long, long time. And uh, so, you know, that that's uh, unfortunate that, that that incident took place. So, uh, you know, rest in peace, Maddie. And, uh, you know, that's going to be a good game. You know, I got a couple buddies that think that Dover's going to pull it off, pull off the upset here tonight. And uh, I think it's going to be a really, really good football game. Well, if you've been watching, uh, you saw that Mansfield Senior has won tonight's Grove Gift Shop coin toss, but they deferred their uh, selection to the second half. So New Philadelphia will start with the football, and they'll move from left to right as we call action uh, here to start quarter number one. Our thanks again to the Grove Gift Shop on the Boulevard in Dover. They have all kinds of essentials for a fun and fashionable football season with Vera Bradley purses and team colors, Ohio State blankets and accessories. You'll find the Grove Gift Shop on the Boulevard next to Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital in Dover. And remember to pick up a loyalty card for your chance to earn a $20 Grove Gift Shop gift certificate. Let's take time here when we come back. More pregame festivities. It's all up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. 
Are you in need of top quality auto body and collision repairs? Look no further than Kula Refinishing in Dover. For over 75 years, they've offered exceptional unibody and frame repair, bodywork, painting, detailing, and glass replacement. They specialize in repairing cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs with a 100% guarantee on all bodywork and painting and are committed to providing unparalleled service and quality repairs. So why wait? Call or stop in for a free estimate today at 435 Race Street in Dover online at QAutobody.net. Are you in the market for a new car or truck? Insurance rates vary greatly from car to car. So if you're in the market for a new car, light truck, or sport utility vehicle, it pays to call the Handhart Insurance Agency first for a quote. Find out what it will cost you to put your new vehicle on the road before you buy. The Handhart Insurance Agency, a trusted name for over 100 years on West 3rd Street in Dover. The Eat Fresh Refresh just won't stop. Now Subway is refreshing their catering with easy order platters and box meals perfect for any occasion. Start with sandwich or wrap platters. They're loaded with craveable crowd pleasers to feed your crew without all the work. Or try individually packaged box meals featuring a tasty 6-inch sub, foot long, or wrap, plus chips and a freshly baked cookie. When you have a group to feed, make it fun, delicious, and easy with catering from Subway. Visit Subway.com to place your catering order. Advance notice may be required. The T County Boxing Academy is the area's number one training center for those who are serious about boxing. Serious athletes know that everything they put into their bodies affects their workouts, which is why the T County Boxing Academy offers the industry's best supplements at the best prices for the best workouts possible, including brands like 5% Nutrition. Try their real food protein with low glycemic carbs. If you want to train like the pros, use the supplements Pro Boxer Sugar Dre Donovan of Eurexville uses. Available at the T County Boxing Academy, located on East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Jim and Susan Sexton invite you to stop in before or after the game to enjoy their famous homemade pizza and spaghetti sauce made from the original Pangrazio recipe. They also feature homemade spaghetti noodles, meatballs, and pizza dough made daily. Try the large special, a large pepperoni and cheese pizza, and large cheese sticks. Pangrazio's Pizza and Spaghetti House open Tuesday through Sunday with two locations to serve you in downtown Denison and downtown Dover. Oh, and doesn't Pan Grazio's sound good about now? Maybe a large special with that uh, pepperoni and cheese pie with the cheese sticks to follow. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like a great way to sit down and enjoy this broadcast. Uh, hope you're uh, enjoying what we're doing pregame style online at uh, WJER.com slash videos. Or maybe you're watching on our YouTube channel. It's the WJER YouTube channel. Also, uh, audio available tonight, uh, courtesy of the WJER app for your smartphone or tablet. I'm Denny Trimmer. Phil Tidrick is with me, and we've already talked about important games happening in the OCC. How about some other great games uh, in our area uh, tonight, Coach? Claymont is at Buckeye Trail. Homecoming in Strasburg, and a talented Tusky Valley team comes to Ron Hurst Field. Uh, Ridgewood at Central Catholic. Now, that's a game that wasn't supposed to happen, but we've got healthy bodies back in play. The game is back on tonight at Art Tyner's uh, Complex. Sandy Valley, 3-1. and one. St. Clairsville, 3-1. and one. Garraway at East Canton. And Sandy Valley at Malvern. Sandy Valley, 3-1. and one. Malvern unbeaten at 4-0. and oh. Any of those games jump out at you? Well, you know, there, there's some good football games going on. I, I think the Malvern Sandy Valley game, you know, is is going to be a is going to be a good one. And uh, I I would like to say that there's some other games there that's that's going to be pretty good as well. I know, you know, we've got uh, a young man that 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 I work with, and he he coaches at Claymont, so I'd really like to see Claymont get back on the winning on the winning side here this week. I talked to him this week, and you know, a young guy and, and an awesome, an awesome employee, and I'm sure a really, really good coach from everybody I've talked to. So, uh, so hopefully they can get it back on there, and and uh, you know, I, I think Garraway is the real deal for sure. And I didn't know anything about and, it. And East Canton's one and three, so yeah, that's I, a running clock game. Yeah, I didn't know anything about the Central Catholic Ridgewood game. 
It was off until midweek. It's back on again tonight, hoping uh, that everyone stays healthy. And uh, we've got a good game there at the Art Tyner Complex. You know, part of my heart still bleeds orange and black for the Strasburg Tigers. It's homecoming. It's going to be a beautiful night for those festivities. Uh, it may not end like a beautiful night. as Tusky Valley, Phil, with only their only blemishes, really. They fell short, and I mean short, against a 4-0 Malvern team. Tusky Valley the real deal this year. That's that's what I'm told, and I happened to talk to their coach, Dickerhoof, at the uh, county preview, the, the uh, preview that was over at the senior center back before the season started, and, and I happened to talk to him because him and my son played played the offensive line together up at, up at Walsh. That's a couple big boys. Oh, well, they averaged almost 290 across the front line. I think I could have stayed in that played. pocket for four or five <laughs> seconds. So it was, uh, yeah, so, I, you know, I'm really glad to see teams that maybe haven't had mu as much success lately to come out and, and have some success. You know, you like people and you like to see guys, you know, have some success at what they're doing because, you know, they're out there and they're not any different than any other team that's won 20 games in a row or what have you. Those guys are out there working just like everybody else and, you sure like to see him get rewarded a little bit with a W. And speaking of W's and getting rewarded, of course, WJER Radio, the home of your 1-0, and first place in the AFC North, Cleveland Browns, an impressive win against Joe Burrow and a stacked Cincinnati team on Sunday. They play uh, Monday night football again, uh, center stage, this time at Pittsburgh. Phil, what would you think of their opener? Honestly, uh, I was I, I didn't watch it in person because because you were listening on WJEO. No, I was working because my boss is, is a diehard Browns fan and he was at the game, so I covered for him at work and uh, I watched it when I got home, and uh, I was pretty impressed. I, I was pretty impressed with their with especially defensively. You know, neither quarterback Watson or Burrow had a very, very good game. And I think a weather had a lot to do with that. And I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say Joe Burrow was hurt, and he should not have played in that game. I would agree with that. And, uh, you know, one game, okay, so it's your big rival, but you know what? You got another 16 games or whatever that you got to play. Let's get healthy and play those because, you know, they started out, what, 0-2 last year, I think? And, Correct. And won like 12 games in a row or some ungodly amount. So I, I, I think that uh, I'd like to see some fair weather. On Sunday for the Bengals and fair weather, uh, Monday night for the Browns and the Steelers. And and I, I, I'm hoping that they just go over and put one to the Steelers, to the Steel Curtain myself. I, I, I think they've got the talent to do it. I think Andrew Barry, who you don't have to necessarily like or whatever, because uh, I sure haven't, hasn't liked some of the decisions that he's made. But, boy, he sure brought in some really, really good defensive football players. Phil, you, you – you have to think that's probably the best defensive effort against a quality opponent that we've had since the team's come back in 99. Oh, there isn't any question. It might be as it might be the best defensive effort I've ever seen a Browns team have. And I can go back to championship year 1964. So so that was, that was that was an impressive thing. They're number 1 overall on defense in the league. Now let's see. Can they continue can they continue with that? and come out and go 2-0 and in the uh, AFC North. Of course, you can listen to Monday night's contest right here on WJER. Our thoughts and prayers are with uh, Brown's voice Jim Donovan, uh, who's uh, back in medical treatment for uh, leukemia. He's beaten the battle once. He's going to beat it again. Uh, but uh, this time it's going to keep him out of the uh, radio booth for uh, – well, a few weeks to be sure. Uh, Chris Rhodes from the NFL Network will be taking over the play-by-play -play action. So listen to Chris, Nathan Zagura, and Gerard Cherry right here at WJER. We are the Sports Voice of the Valley, and we'll be back with more high school football pregame right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. At Kent State Tuscarawas, you create your own success. Choose from over 30 bachelor's and associate degrees, including animation game design, bachelor of social work, criminology and justice studies, psychology, engineering technology, nursing, and vet tech. Our tuition is low, our professors are excellent, and we deliver a high-quality academic experience. Stay close to home. Spend less. Prepare for your future today at Kent State Tuscarawas. You belong here.
Dr. Nathan Springer, this area's orthodontic specialist, is accepting new patients. Dr. Springer's dedicated team of professionals is committed to creating beautiful, confident smiles with braces and Invisalign for children and adults. Choose from a wide variety of treatment options ranging from traditional time-proven appliances to the latest innovative orthodontic advancements. Join Dr. Nathan Springer's winning smile team today, 107 Ray Avenue in New Philadelphia, just two blocks from New Philadelphia High School. When you think flowers for all your special occasions, think Pam's Posies on the boulevard across from the hospital. Pam's makes birthdays, anniversaries, and your special moments so much brighter because flowers lift spirits and deliver smiles. For unique designs with style, beauty, and elegance every time, shop local, shop quality, shop Pam's Posies on the boulevard, online at pamsposies.com. That's pamsposies.com. OmniFiber is excited to be a part of the Dover and New Philadelphia communities and offer a new choice in internet. For a limited time, when you sign up for OmniFiber, you'll get three months free internet. Enjoy the speed and reliability of our new 100% fiber network with upload speeds up to 50 times faster than cable, Ohio-based sales and customer service, and speeds up to 2 gig. Sign up today and get three months of OmniFiber internet on us. Visit OmniFiber.com slash WJER to learn more. Denny Trimmer and Phil Tidrick with you from Mansfield, Ohio tonight. Arlen Field, this is Mansfield Seniors Home Stadium, and it's a beauty. If you're watching the game uh, on our video page or on our YouTube channel, you can see the facade on one side. It's the exact same build on the other side, and believe me, Coach and I had to walk that massive flight of steps to get up here, so we, we can tell you about it with confidence. Uh, but what a beautiful night and a beautiful place for a ball game. Let's hope that the uh, New Philadelphia Quakers are feeling uh, beautiful about their week of performance and uh, what they can produce tonight. Uh, we are the Sports Voice of the Valley, and glad to have you with us, uh, whether you're listening on the app or watching online. This is a live stream contest. You can see the senior band is out on the field. We're about ready for our national anthem and our alma mater. The national anthem, of course, the service of VFW Post 1445 in New Philadelphia. They're proud of the scholarships that they award to local students as well as their food pantry and their veterans support program that provides assistance with rent and utilities to area veterans. You can learn more. Call VFW Post 1445 at 330-343-5987. Seven. Don't forget, we'll have a Subway Player of the Game for you at the conclusion of this contest. Our thanks to the Fitzgerald family and our locally owned Subway restaurants. Subway, eat, fresh. Phil, do you have a go-to sandwich at Subway? No, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much a plain kind of guy. I usually get a little turkey, a little ham, and a little Swiss, and you have to toast. Oh, you toast. You definitely toast. Oh, absolutely. Subway. Eat fresh. Our thanks again to the Fitzgerald family. We'll have a number of Pam's Posey's performance plays for you throughout the course of the night. We want to thank Greg and Jen Ress. Of course, they've got that great new location on the boulevard right across from Union Hospital. If you're old enough like I am and like Coach is, you remember the building as Grandma Zyphers. And that was some delicious pie. And certainly good things happening now in that place as Pam's Posies. They've got their great flower club. It's a no-brainer. You want to get uh, set up with beautiful fresh flower arrangement deliveries for special occasions. That's the way to do it. You'll never have to remember an important date again. They'll take care of all the details. You can order online at DoverFlowers.com. Make someone happy. Order flowers today. Pam's Posies delivering smiles and brightening days. Time for our Wendy's starting lineups and we're going to take a look at the offensive and defensive sides of the football for the red and black three and one under third year coach mike johnson first defensively across the line of scrimmage it's going to be number 75 boston Crowell, a 265 pound junior oscar pastor mans the middle five foot eight inches 245 pounds and a senior and at the end is number 16 owen shellis 6'6 215 and a senior the four-man linebacking core has been stout and stellar this season Linebackers Brody Gillen wears number three, 175 pound junior. A sophomore, number 20, Miles Tyson, six foot 185. 
And then two seniors man the inside post, Jaden Boltz and Zach Rothrock. Jaden wears number 27, 6'1", 195, and Zach, number 24, 6 foot 2 inches, 210 pounds. And a talented secondary as well for Coach Johnson and defensive coordinator Seth Watson in the backfield. We'll see number two, Jordy Delacruz, 5'8", 155, and a senior. Carson Long, number 12, 5 foot 10 inch, junior. Number seven, the Bulldog, Aiden Matthews, 5'9", 160, and a junior. And number four, Petey, Pete DiDonato, 5'8", 145, and an 11th grader. We'll break here when we come back. The offensive starters for the red and black. This is the Wendy starting lineups, and we are the sports voice of the Valley. Wendy's new breakfast two for $3 Biggie Bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for $3 Biggie Bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. And welcome back to Arlen Field and Mansfield. This is the New Philadelphia Quakers taking on Mansfield Senior Tigers. We are uh, here on a gorgeous night, and it's time for our VFW Post 1445 National Anthem. We're going to go down to the field and listen to the Tiger Marching Band. Well, I blew it again. No marching band. They're in formation at midfield, but a uh, great uh, rendition nonetheless of the national anthem, uh, courtesy of the folks on the far sideline. Looks like uh, one of their talented choirs, VFW Post 1445 in New Philadelphia, our sponsor. They're proud of the scholarships they award to local students as well as their food pantry and their veteran support program, which provides assistance with rent and utilities to area veterans. Let's conclude our Wendy's starting lineup. It's time to take a look at the red and black offensively. On the line, the left tackle, Boston Crowell, number 75. At left guard, number 60, Damian Robbins. At center, number 64, Hudson Osborne, six-foot senior. The right guard, Brody Lindsay, six-foot, 205, and a sophomore. And the right tackle, and he's been the right tackle for feels like the last four or five or six seasons, Garrett Dillon Rye. 6'4", 260, and a senior. At tight end, we look to see a little of Owen Shellis. We look to see a little bit of Lucas Yeager as well. Wideouts, Carson Long, Pete DiDonato. You'll see some H-backs, some ground and pound blocking from number 29 sophomore Vincent Magoni. The bell cow of this offense is Etney Richardson. You heard Phil boasting about the numbers he's put up all season. 5'6", 165 pounds and a senior, and at quarterback for your new Philadelphia Quakers. Number 11, Keaton Fossil, six foot 170, and a senior. That's your Wendy's starting lineups. Get to your local Wendy's right now for something great like a Dave's Double. Stop in at any of the local Wendy's restaurants in our area. Following the game, even their recipe is quality. You know, Denny, you, sorry, Denny, you got to right quit, quit talking about food. I'm getting hungry up here. I, 
<laughs> we did not eat on the way up. Uh, you bought us a milkshake midway. I did. I did. Yeah. Golden Bear Dariet getting a free mention. We appreciate the hot fudge milkshake that Coach provided for us. But it's time now for our Tuscarawas County YMCA kickoff. The YMCA is here for our community. Stronger in spirit, mind, and body. Stronger for you, stronger for us, stronger together. Tuscarawas County YMCA now offers a 24-7 fitness center. Find your passion. Find your why. Visit the why today on Monroe Street in Dover. To open things up, as mentioned, Mansfield Sr. won the opening coin toss. They deferred their selection to the second half. New Philadelphia chose to receive, and they will be moving from ref left to right, as you can see on our video feed. Jordy Delacruz is the deep man, joined back there by Carson Long and Etney Richardson on the wings, and set to foot to put to foot to put foot to ball is Quentin DeBolt, a senior kicker for the Tigers. DeBolt showed a good leg warming up tonight. Right-footed senior. Battle of conference unbeatens tonight. Both 2-0 in the Ohio Cardinal Conference. The whistle says let's go and a Kind of a zone kick here, much like the Quakers do. Lucky to fall on it. Jaden Bolts. It squirts out of his hands. Gets collected, though, by Johnny on the spot for New Philadelphia. My goodness, great heads-up play by Ethan Coletti that time. Well, you know the thing about it. I know last time, uh, the last game, they had two onside kicks against West Holmes. And I know that was something that Coach Reese was really adamant about. They better watch it. They better spread their people out. That was a great kick by their kicker. We were very, very fortunate. I think if the first guy down for Mansfield would have jumped on the ball, it would have been their ball. He tried to pick it up, and they don't understand you're not allowed to advance that. So New Philadelphia, and they're traveling white tops with red pants. They give this time on the left side to Richardson. Out of the gun, and he squeezes for a couple. Brings up second down and eight. Mansfield Sr. in the orange tops. Orange helmets. White pants. Now Shella's going to flip sides of the formation. DiDonato and Long. Near side split right. Rolling right is Fossil. Pulling the trigger and hopping it. To Carson Long, pass incomplete. You know, good protection. He had plenty of time. He had plenty of time. Uh, Long was open. Just didn't, just didn't connect. Well, a lot of times you'll see quarterbacks throw that while they're rolling on the run. That time, Fossil with good protection decided to stop, plant the right foot, and drive the ball. Just fired a fastball a little bit short. Brings up a tricky third down and eight. Ball at the 41-yard line. Man in motion is Magoni. The read, the keep, and now Fossil going down in a heap. That time pressure from Samir Phillips, the 6'1 junior. Big loss on the play. Going to move it all the way back to about the 34 and a punting situation to be sure for Zach Rothrock. Nate Dismuke is back deep for the Tigers. Good snap. Foot to ball. And Rothrock, who's been steady all year, puts a lot of leg into it. One hopper picked up at about the 25 by Dismuke. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds by Carson Long and Aiden Matthews. Nice coverage that time. It was a nice punt by Rothrock. Good snap back by Pete DiDonato. Rothrock with a good punt. And coverage was great by uh, Carson Long. No, no yards on the return. And one of the things I'm going to speak of is uh, Coach Reese, obviously him and Jim Rhodes, Mike Reese and Jim Rhodes go scouting for the Quakers. The, the, they, they were up here last week to watch uh, the Tigers and the West Holm Knights. And he told me one of the things they better do is block number 40. Samir Phillips. 
Phillips is the real deal. We see Jackson Corns in that starting spot for Shellis on the D-line. He's in a three-point stance. The fake give. Now Reese is going to keep it. Shuffles his feet. Great bust-out move to the right side. Gets the hash mark sideline. He's going to go a long way. 40-45 and pushed out of bounds as he crosses midfield. Long kind of the last man there, Coach, and was able to get him out of bounds, but there you saw the, the burst of speed. And we'll see where he stepped out. They're going to say inside the 40, down to about the 37-yard line, first and 10 Tigers. Reese calling for it. He's got a back to his left hip. The big lefty winds and fires. Pass is incomplete, broken up by the mad dog, Aiden Matthews. Carson Long back there in coverage as well. And well, Mansfield Sr. looks like they can do just about whatever they want. Reese likes to run it, gets a big chunk. Now they're going up the middle deep. Great play, breaking that up in the secondary. Yeah, that was a nice play because that was a nice ball. It was right on target, and uh, the Quakers were fortunate enough to be able to knock it away. Jameer Petty in the backfield with Reese. Petty gets it this time. Starts out right, big jump cut to the left, and he's going to be driven back. Zach Rothrock, Jaden Bolts, among others, converging on the stop. Give him about three yards, brings up third down and seven. Mansfield Sr. likes tempo. You won't see them huddle often. They're in formation right now as Reese looks to the sideline, gets the play call. And the lanky lefty sends a man in motion. Claps for the snap. Drops back, has time. Fires and incomplete. That time just a step behind Giante O'Brien. He puts that a step out in front. That's six points. Instead, he put it on the hip, and New Philadelphia able to break it up. Four-down territory, though, Coach. Uh, it is. You know, you got fourth and seven from New Philadelphia's 34-yard line. And so what the Quakers need to do is come up with another stop and uh, be able to get the ball back offensively. So Dismuke split out right. Pair of receivers, three receivers now split out to the left. Reese with it, with plenty of time, moves his feet. Slides the pocket left, floats one, and it's going to be caught. And that'll be first down yardage. Pitch and catch that time completed to Amar Davis, a six-foot senior wideout. But, Phil, that play was made possible. Good coverage at the initial point of that play. But as we watch back, the ability to move his feet and move the pocket, Reese got it done. He did. And, uh, you know, they, they just can't give him that much time. They, they've, they've got to get a little pressure on him up front. Reese sends a man in motion, a little pop pass that time, and it's going to be the guy that just caught the first down play, Amar Davis. Catches that little pop pass. And again, they are right back at it. Spot of the football gives him three yards on the catch. Quaker defense looking for answers. Davis in motion. Reese is going to sling it out to him. Caught at the 20, now 15, 10, 5, and touchdown, Tigers. Easy pitch and catch. Three straight catches for Davis on this drive. The capper. That swing pass for the touchdown. You know, that, that was pretty easy, to be honest. That really was. I mean, you could almost see what they were doing out here offensively. You know, they had trip trips, and then you get another back out to catch the ball. They, they've got four on three. They've got three blockers against our three blockers and the guy with the ball. And uh, that was a no-brainer on that one. And DeBolt's kick is good. So 8-19 remaining first quarter, the score. Mansfield Senior 7, New Philadelphia no score. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. 
To be a success in football, it takes a team effort, a smart coach, a take-charge starting lineup, and cooperation. Don and Nathan Kemp and the team at Kemp Insurance are dedicated to providing a strong lineup of plans for a winning future. Let Kemp Insurance provide you with all-star coverage for your auto, home, farm, business, and life. For a secure future, get the winning team at Kemp Insurance on your side. Kemp Insurance, your local hometown agents for over 35 years on East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Hi, this is Zarek with Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. How healthy is the air you breathe? When air quality outside is bad, you can breathe easy inside your home with air purifiers, high-quality air filtration, and other fine products from Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. We are your local train comfort specialist in downtown Dover, providing 24-hour emergency service since 1981. For all your home comfort needs, call us at 330-343-5511. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Well, New Philadelphia's got some work to do. Currently down 7 0 in first quarter play. 8 19 remaining in the first quarter. Tigers first to the board. This is the second time we'll see a kickoff from Quentin DeBolt. Last time it was a zone kick. Now he hammers it up the middle on a line. It's going to be picked up at about the 10. And now Jordy Delacruz with it. Going to squirt forward. He gets all the way out near the 40 yard line. So perhaps that's why you zone kick on the first kick. You don't want an electric guy like Jordy Delacruz to get loose. And that time he took it all the way up near the 40, Coach. Well, you know, they didn't. You know, when you hit a ball on the ground like that and they and they field it clean, you you got kind of a running start. So uh, Jordy Delacruz was able to get put the Quakers in a real good field position here to start this drive. Quakers with some personnel shuffling. Trip receivers, Watson, DiDonato, and Long are left. The give is left to Etney Richardson, who plows ahead. Give him a solid three. And I don't think you panic down 7 nothing. Oh, no, you can't panic. You just got to go with your game plan. You got to run the football, run the football, run the football, hit him a little bit with a pass, run the football some more. And uh, try to pick up, try to pick up some you know, big yardage. So second down and seven. Richardson to the left of Fossil. Fossil's going to keep it on a design run. The junior quarterback gets out to midfield, and he's going to be real near that stripe. It's going to depend on the spot. They spot him about a yard short. And with our crowd, Mike, you might be able to hear some of the colorful responses from the Quaker faithful regarding the spot. If I wasn't on the air, I'd probably be yelling at him, too. <laughs> we will discuss on the drive home. So third and a yard. The Quakers are going to come out in that gun. Fossil with the give. It's Edney Richardson. Richardson ahead. He's got the 30-yard line down to the 25 on a Pam's Posey's performance play. So you needed one, and you work it all the way down that time, Phil. 24 yards on the carry, and that's why you don't panic down just one score. First and 10 Quakers after the big burst from Etney Richardson. Here comes Fossil on the design run. Fossil with a cutback, gets inside the 20, gets down near the 15. Now we talked in the pregame about those two being a one-two punch running the football. Certainly a good follow-up run by Fossil. I, I think so. I, I think Coach Johnson kind of spotted something here a little bit. At least right now, we got a little bit of little bit of momentum going, and they got inside the, uh, the red zone. And the Quakers being a little bit more deliberate, getting the play from the sideline. Break the huddle. The snap is back. The give to Richardson. Cuts it up at the hash. Gets inside the 15, down to about the 12 where he's spun down. Quakers would be happy to continue doing just that. Coach brought up the red zone. It's the Pets Place red zone. Our area's premier place to shop for your furry friend, furry family member.
Second and five. This is Fossil cutting it up inside. Slips inside the 10. Well, they're going to spot him at about the 7. And again, spot's not going to be our friend. Brings up a third down one. From about the seven yard line, Fossil behind center looking at, gets the snap. He has to Richardson and Richardson is blown up at the point of attack. Give credit where credit is due. Ahmad Thomas, six feet, two inches, 225 pounds. Blew that play up coach before it could get started. He really did and that, that's just one of those things. The Quakers need a yard here, Denny, so well, it looks like they're going to go jumbo. Rothrock. We're in Magoni, jumbo package as well. Bolts. And the give is to Richardson. Richardson slips out of a tackle in the backfield. Did he get the yard needed? Looks like it. Boy, you've got a bad spot out here on the right side. And they will say Mansfield Senior holds. Oh, goodness. We'll get a replay of that, no doubt, and watch where the spot of the football ends up. Richardson gets manhandled, slips out of that tackle at the five, or at the ten, rather. Burst ahead, but just couldn't get the line to gain. Turnover on downs. But, Phil, we saw a recipe for Quaker success there with their ability to run the football on that drive. We, they, they did, and they took it right down the field and, talk, and took it in. Give senior credit, they were able to stop the Quakers on downs. But now what the Quakers have to do is they also have to stop the uh, Tigers here offensively. So Reese calls for the snap while sending a man in motion. Give inside this time. And cutting up the middle with the football is Petty. Gain of just a couple. Gilland on the stop. Beautiful night here in Mansfield for high school football. Battle of the two teams atop the OCC. Reese sends a receiver in motion. Gets what he, he likes. Flips it out on the right side. And that time Petty couldn't handle it. They had that, that little... Swing pass set up. Phil, you got to be able to catch football there. Well, I'm sure glad he dropped it because <laughs> they had it set up out there too. So it brings up a key third down, third and eight. Mansfield Sr. back against the wall here. Football about the nine-yard line. Reese calling for the snap. Looking left, now looking back to the right side. Rolls. Rolling left, flips it out. Pass is going to be caught on the sideline. And a late flag. The catch was made by Jayante O'Brien on the sideline. And then they're going to flag Pete DiDonato for coming in late and driving him out of bounds into the Quaker bench. Again, that time, great catch by number seven, Jayante O'Brien. We'll get that queued up on replay. Petey, we love the passion, but that close to the sideline, let's not drive him into the bench. Again, another play where Reese keeps the play alive with his feet. Now you're going to add the penalty yardage. It's going to be first and ten. Mansfield out from the shadow of their own goal. They're out at the 43-yard line. 318 remaining first quarter. It's senior seven, New Philadelphia nothing. And Mansfield senior on the attack. Here's the read, but Reese is going to keep the football and run left. Gets out, crosses midfield. Jaden Bolts, Jordy Delacruz on the stop. 
Folks, Reese is slippery. Listed at 6'4", 205. He might be 6'4". I don't think he's 205. But a very elusive runner and has used his, his feet very wisely to keep plays alive here in the first quarter. Inside give this time a delay. Nice tackle on the play by Bolts. Zion Brown was the running back and a late flag comes in. Do we have a hold? Face mask. Oh, silly me thinking we were at home. We'll get a cue up on our replay. Great scoreboard uh, service tonight and great uh, on-site production by the team at Claxon Communication. Sure enough, they're going to say Boltsy with the face mask on the tackle. The running back was spun around. I could not tell from that view whether or not he actually had the face mask or the front of the shoulder pad. Well, it didn't look like he had the face mask from up here, but we're, I'm a, we're a long way away. You're wearing an eye patch and readers, and I've got binoculars. How, <laughs> how do we know anything? Not sure how they got a first down out of that, except it was a penalty, and they should have had it there the last play. Well, first and 10 in Quaker territory. The ball spotted at the 47-yard line of New Philadelphia. Reese with the snap looking. Now he's going to tuck it and go. He's got the right side, gets the hash, crosses the 40, inside the 40 to about the 38-yard line. And that should put him just shy of the marker. Give him nine yards on the carry. Phil, the, mo the more I see of Duke Reese at quarterback, the more I'm impressed. Well, he's done a good job, and they, he didn't really run the football last week against West Holmes, but he's come out running the football here tonight for sure. Zion Brown, the running back, he's going to be on the, the right hip of Reese. Reese still communicating with the sideline, sends a man in motion, now the snap. And I don't think they got to play off in time. Call a timeout. Well, there you go. We will take time as well. Mansfield Senior 7, New Philadelphia nothing. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Separate yourself from the crowd and be a rock star at Solid Rock Photos. I am Denny Trimmer inviting you to our new studio home at 128 North Broadway in the heart of downtown New Philadelphia for an unforgettable rock star photo experience. You can learn more online at solidrockphotos.com and all of our social media platforms or give us a call 330-795-0334. It's time for a Quaker cheer from your Quaker cheerleaders, brought to you by the Grove Gift Shop. P-H-I-L-A, we are Philly. The Grove helps you show your school spirit with New Philadelphia Quakers door decorations, Vera Bradley bags, water bottles, picture frames, and more. The Grove on the Boulevard in Dover. Yo, with us, we are Philly. So Brown remains the back in the backfield. After the timeout, Reese has seemingly got things under control. He comes back, and he's about six yards behind center, waiting for the snap. Clap of the hands, and here it comes. Plenty of time looking. Fires it down the middle. That pass is going to be caught on a crossing route, and look out. Touchdown, Tigers. There's some of the speed we were worried about. Number 14, Nate Dismuke. Caught it, crossing the middle of the field. Scored in the far corner of the end zone to the left of the formation after coming from the far wide of the right formation where he was lined up. So you can't allow him to have that kind of time to throw. He's going to pick you apart. No, the, Qu the Quakers got to come up with some blitzes. Something to get a little pressure because he can't sit back in there because you know we're we're playing you know we're playing all zone 
So we have to make sure that we get a little pressure and make him. I'd rather see him running the ball than throwing it 30 yards down the field. 14 to nothing is the score. New Philadelphia behind. They'll get the ball when we come back right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Pets Place in New Philadelphia is your locally owned leader in pet supply and wellness. Pets Place has products for pets from fish to ferrets, from bunnies to birds, even reptiles, and of course, everything you need for cats and dogs. Stop by and talk to one of their knowledgeable team members about the frequent buyer program. Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 8 and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 6. You can also visit at PetsPlaceOhio.com or on Facebook. Looking for a nice backup camera system for your car, truck, or RV? Check out Cartoons and Accessories in New Philly for all your camera safety solutions. Cartoons has camera systems starting at just $2.99 installed. Cartoons carries camera systems that can be added to your dash, your rear view mirror, or complete standalone systems. Camera systems can even be added to your factory radio screen in most cases. We also carry backup beeping avoidance systems as well. So check us out today. Cartoons and Accessories, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly, 330-339-2006. Be there. Quakers trailing 14 to nothing. Denny Trimmer, Phil Tidrick with you. A minute 34 remaining in the first quarter. And DeBolt puts foot to ball and sends it right up the middle. Nice, j nice job by Brody Gillen to run that ball down. And so they got pretty good field position at about the 34-yard line. We want to thank you for watching. If you're watching... Uh, via our YouTube channel or perhaps on the WJER.com slash videos page. Or if you're listening to the game via the WJER app, our coach, our basketball brethren, Coach Zach Ross, Luke Ross, Chris Miller, all sitting around the fire on somebody's patio listening to tonight's contest. Yep. And right now they're having a lot more fun than we are. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have a long drive home after the game uh, either. They do not, no. First and 10, New Philadelphia. Ball at the 34-yard line. This is Fossil on the keeper. He's got left side. 40-yard line. Loses the football. It stays in bounds. we got a couple of guys on the pile. Garrett Dillon Ryan over there. Couldn't come up with it. It's going to be a turnover. That's not a penalty flag that's down. I don't believe those should be markers. Fossil just lost the football. And Corbin comes up with it for the Tigers. You know, one, one big difference on that play, Denny. He got ran down by a defensive lineman. So that just goes you to show you how, how much team speed that, that team has. They have it in abundance. Wide right is Dismuke. Three receivers left. And number eight, Amar Davis in the backfield with Duke Reese. 125 remaining first period. Mansfield Senior in command, 14 to nothing. They look to do more damage as they just took the ball from New Philadelphia. The ball is at the Quaker 44-yard line. Here's the read. It's given this time. And Davis spun out of some contact in the backfield. We've got chirping. Petey Di Donato. Matched up with Nate Dismuke. Those two flapping jaws were going after it after the play. Good discretion by the officials to just kind of peel them apart. Whistles and confusion all over the field. So they gave Davis a yard on the carry. Moves the football to the 43, brings up second down nine. Twin receivers wide left. Dismute spread out far white, far right with a wing back and a running back in the shotgun formation with Reese. Give inside this time, and this time nothing doing on a Pam Posey's performance play. They tried to go up the gut with Jameer Petty, and Coach, nothing doing that time. Oscar Pastor and others shut it down. 
He did. That was a nice play. Basically lost two yards on the play. Brings up third down and about 11. Tigers trying to hurry. They get the snap back quickly. Davis floats a pass down the right sideline. It's intercepted by Jordy Delacruz. They tried to go up top that time to Nye Petty. And Jordy Delacruz was with him stride for stride. Coach, and as we watch the replay, Delacruz goes up and hauls it in. It's going to be Quaker football. First and 10 at the five-yard line. That's a bad spot, by the way. He caught the ball on the eight on the eight yard line. Well, we can't have everything. No, we can't, but he caught it on the eight. That's where that ball should be marked. Our thanks to one of tonight's scoreboard sponsors, Sugar Valley Meats in Sugar Creek. Visit their retail store or online at sugarvalleymeats.com. Celebrating over 30 years of fresh farm-raised local meats. Quakers with their back against the wall now. We'll see what they can put together. They start on the ground. This is Fossil. Crosses the five. Gets out to about the six. Nothing more than that. Designed quarterback keeper. Quarterback draw, if you will, on the right side. And that will be the last play of period number one. 14 to nothing. Mansfield Senior on top of New Philadelphia. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. 24-7 has arrived at the Y. Join today and have your Y on your time. With a 24-7 fitness center now available for adult members, you can add the Y into your schedule anytime. Members enjoy free fitness classes like yoga, spinning, cardio, strength training, drumming for fitness, Zumba, LaBlast, water aerobics, glide fit paddleboard, plus free babysitting. And don't forget, the Y also has adult steam rooms, saunas, and a whirlpool. Visit TuskYMCA.org for more details or stop by the Y today. We love our pets. Accidents and messes included. Shaw Floors Pet Perfect Carpet helps you love confidently with protection from everyday messes and odors. Designed with the whole family in mind, Pet Perfect features built-in protection from staining, fading, and pet hair. Make tails wag with Shaw Floors Pet Perfect. Designed for you, perfect for your pet. Find Shaw's Pet Perfect styles at Williams Floor Covering, 98 Southwester Avenue in Dover. Welcome back to our coverage of New Philadelphia High School football here on WJER, whether you're listening on the app or watching online via the YouTube channel or WJER.com slash videos. We are glad to have you with us tonight. After one period in the books, New Philadelphia coach trailing 14 nothing, but signs of life after Jordy Delacruz and his interception flips the uh, ball back to the Quakers. On this second down play now, Fossil looking to throw as he rolls right, fires right side. And going to a knee with the catch is Carson Long out at about the 16-yard line. Fossil, as you watch the replay, kind of stutter-stepped his way, didn't, didn't make the decision to fire that pass until the end of the, the run there. It looked like he was going to pull it a couple times and just dive straight ahead. Well, that was a big first down for the Quakers. They got him out of the <coughs> shadow of their own goal line. And what they need to do is they need to get a few more here and move that ball down and keep that ball away from Mansfield offense. So first and 10 of the 16, the give to Richardson. He's going to try left side, pops out of a tackle, and then gets ripped down by Dejon Corbin. Gain of a couple, call it one on the spot. Second down, nine. Richardson, who popped a big run on the last drive, has been pretty much held in check thus far in the early going. You know, the thing, even, even though you're down 14 nothing, Denny, I don't think you can give up on your game plan. Your game plan's still got to be run that football, run that football, run that football. It's Fossil dropping straight back with the football. Looks left. Tucks it, and he's going to be brought down for a loss of about four. Too much speed that time. 
Dylan McGinty that time. McKinney and Bradley teaming on that. And, Phil, it, it's, you've got to be able to have a second or two, and he just hasn't had it. No. Uh, right now what the Quakers need is to run short routes. And I know that's difficult because they're up bumping the guys. Well, not particularly this formation, but they're up close enough where they're keeping guys. And before that play could get off, we've got a whistle that stops play. Time out by the Quakers. And they will take time. We will take time as well. 9.57 remaining in the first half. Mansfield Senior 14. New Philadelphia no score. Back with this key third down play right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Subway is upping their game with the All-Star Subway Series menu. Like number 16, the All-Pro Sweet Onion Teriyaki, a new twist on an old favorite. Or number 18, the new Ultimate BMT with salami, pepperoni, and Black Forest ham topped off with extra provolone. And all of the new Subway Series subs are piled with cheese and fresh, tasty toppings. I can't wait to try them all. It's the Subway Series menu, Subway's tastiest menu yet. Third down, 13, and we want to thank our friends at Smartway Communications, a scoreboard sponsor tonight. Local service, local infrastructure, and community-minded. That's the smart way to get reliable, affordable Internet in Tuscarawas County. Call Smartway at 740-254-8201. Third down and 13 from the 13. It's Fossil with Richardson in the backfield. Keaton gets the snap, rolls right, tucks. Takes a shot, works out of it. He's got the 20, 25, 30 yard line up to the 35 for that Quaker first down. And sometimes you just got to take it and do it yourself, coach. You do. That was a great run. That was a great pull down. And the thing you got to do with most, with most long runs is you've got to break at least one tackle. And he did that right about the line of scrimmage. He did that, and he was able to work ahead to what they'll say is the 33-yard line where the knee hit first. So first and 10, New Philadelphia. Long, split, wide left. DiDonato in motion from right to left, takes the pop pass. Here comes Petey. Petey got driven down hard as he got to about the 38-yard line. As we know and as we have seen, Petey is a tough little booger. That time took a big shot once he got to the second level, got driven into the turf, held on to the football, and sets up a nice second down and five. You know, that's what the Quakers got to do. They just got to keep mixing things up, try to see what's going to work, obviously keep handing the ball to number one. Magoni in at the H-back. He's got a lead block for Richardson, but coming back side with some heat. Blows that play up before it could get started. Number 53, Carmelo Smith. A 6'2", 250-pound senior. Oh. Things were looking promising as Magoni kind of blew his guy out there where they wanted to run. You, can't, you just can't gauge the speed of that defensive line, being able to shoot in the backfield that quickly. And take a runner down from behind. No, you got to step hard to your inside to make sure that guy does not cross your face. So a tricky third down and seven now. Fossil rolling right, fires, passes, caught. It's Pete DiDonato at midfield. Hang on to the football, Petey, he does as he's slammed into the Quaker sideline. No whistle, no foul. Nate Dismuke returning the favor that time. It was DiDonato that peppered Dismuke after a catch earlier, but Phil, a great pitch and catch that time. It was, and those are the things. If you give him a little bit of time, you don't have to run, you don't have to run long routes. You just got to be able to deliver the ball when it should be delivered, which Keaton Fossil did, and Pete made a nice run. 7.51 remaining. Oh, tripped up in the backfield as Richardson. He had some green turf ahead of him. You bet you he did on that one. That would have been at least an 8 to 10 yard, at least 8 to 10. Still manage a yard on the carry. Boston go back to the huddle. 
Second down, nine. Quakers send three receivers wide to the right. It's Long, DiDonato, and Delacruz. Owen oh, Shellis, one-on-one near side, short side of the field. Fired to Delacruz on the right side. He's got it. Got the 40-yard line inside the 40. And he's going to be very near first down yardage. Phil, penalty markers coming in on the far side of the field. I have no idea. Well, interesting. The flags coincide with towels. The cheerleaders are flowing out. That's something. The referee and his crew, Darren Holiday, talking it over. Quakers just kind of standing around not knowing. Well, they've already backed their defense up, so they know it's against should be against them. A personal foul indeed has been whistled on the Tigers. Quakers on the move. That pass to Delacruz of Pam's Posey's performance play. Stopped by their great location on the boulevard just across the street from Union Hospital. You can order online at doverflowers.com. Our thanks to Greg and Jen Ress for their continued support. Quakers moving the football. Remember, this drive started way back in the shadow of their own end zone. They are now approaching the Pets Place red zone. First and 10 at the 22. Fossil by himself in the backfield. Design quarterback draw. 20. 15, Fossil to the right side, 10, 5, touchdown, Keaton Fossil. A 22-yard quarterback draw gets the Quakers on the board. And Aiden Mushrush will come on to try the point after. No, you can't ask for a, a better drive than that. About 90, what, about 95 yards on that, Denny? And uh, most of it was done on the ground, but they picked up some good plays through the air. And most of them were led by Keaton Fossil on that possession. We talked about him being part of the one-two running punch and very visible on that drive, to be sure. The sophomore, Mushrush, puts toe to ball and floats it just short. And the Quakers trail 14-6. to six. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Tired of unreliable internet service and unexpected bill increases? Experience internet another way, the smart way. Smartway Communications is your locally owned and operated high-speed internet provider now serving Dover and New Philadelphia and beyond. Don't get locked into plans with more or less speed than you need. Smartway is the better way. Local customer service, local infrastructure, and community-minded. That's the smart way to get reliable, affordable internet in Tuscarawas County. Call Smartway at 740-254-8201 online at ThinkSmartWay. Com. Everyone will be talking about tonight's Quaker football game at Michael's Restaurant tomorrow morning. Stop into Michael's for a homemade breakfast and recap tonight's game with your fellow Quaker fans. The eggs and home fries are fresh, the coffee is endless, the hotcakes are stacked high, and Quakers young and old will be reliving tonight's game. Stop in for a bite and show your Quaker pride. Michael's Restaurant is open 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. tomorrow at 134 East High Avenue in downtown Philly. Locally owned and operated by proud Quaker alum Doug McCahill. Go! Go Quakers. Well, the Quakers break through. It's 14 to 6 on a 95-yard scoring drive that was capped off by a 22-yard quarterback draw. Keaton Fossil cashing it out. Mushrush's kick was no good, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But now he kicks off zone style. Mansfield seniors got it. They're going to work it up to about the 38-yard line. And coach, you thought maybe some uh, problems between the center and the holder uh, led, led the way to that kick. You know, that, that's sure what it looked like, Denny. Phil, we're going to have you put your headset back on. Now, believe me, people could still hear you. <laughs> well, you know, I was getting I was getting redressed, all right? Yeah, no, I, that's kind of what it appeared. It looked to be the way that, you know, the must rush hit the ball. It looked like the ball didn't get on the tee. And uh, I guess the Quakers are just going to have to score and go for two to be able to tie it up here. But first, they've got to they've got to stop the uh, Mansfield Tiger uh, offense here right on this possession. 
6.50 remaining in the half. Reese with the give inside. And, oh, punishing run that time. Zion Brown. Brown, 190-pound senior running back. Ran with the force of someone you would think weighs 190 pounds. Gained nine yards on the play. Brings up second down one. Snap is back. Reese with the give to Brown. Brown spun around in the backfield. And a Pam's Posey's defensive performance play. As that time, Brody Gillen and Lucas Yeager team up on the stop. And we'll see where they mark the spot. The down marker hasn't moved yet. It's a loss of at least three yards. Phil, we have laundry on the field that I didn't see. We have laundry on the field, all right. Well, they may have called the face mask. And as we watch this back in replay, watch how he gets spun around in the hole. Oh, the replay's coming. Hang in there, folks. It's not coming, but uh, you know what? Trust us on that. Watch it back in your downtime on our YouTube channel. I say clean hit. First and 10, though, with the penalty. Here comes Brown again. Brown dancing outside. Great tackle that time by Zach Rothrock, who dove at the ankle and tripped up the senior. Held him to just a yard gain. That'll put him at about the 38-yard line. You know, that, that, that's good. I mean, I can't see, you know, that far enough to say whether or not it was a face mask or not. I thought he grabbed his jersey and spun him around. It looked like he just spun around to avoid the tackle. That's what I Took thought. Took a little contact and spun out of it. Regardless, second down, eight. Reese calling for the snap. It's back. He's going to roll left. He's going to tuck and go left. Fumbles the football. And Gillen was there, but I think Phil out of bounds as he flew on top of it. Just, Mad Dog over pleading his case, but just a split second, just a split second, uh, too late because he he dropped the ball right on the sidelines. Brody Gillen having himself a night so far. I think that was a good hit by Jaden Bolts, I believe. Brings up third down five. And this is two down territory for the Tigers. Ball at the Quaker 35-yard line. Reese waves a man in motion from right to left. Has the snap, has plenty of time. Now he's going to look left, throw left. Pass should have been caught. Credit a great defensive play from Jordy Delacruz to pop that free on the sideline. But as Coach mentioned, probably... Four down territory here with an eight-point lead. Fourth down and six, 5-16 remaining in the half. You'll want to stay with us for the Modern Menswear Halftime Report. Coach Tid will have his thoughts and all of the numbers. We'll call out one of our friends for not shopping at Modern Menswear. Reese's pass is caught. It's going to be first down. It's going to be touchdown. Oh, what a blur. Amar Davis on a skinny post. Took it right up the gut for a 35-yard Tiger touchdown. And again, if you're watching this game and not just listening, the speed on display has been awfully impressive thus far. Reese's third touchdown pass of the half. The second to Amar Davis. Quinton DeBolt will square up for the point after. And the kick looks good. 5.08 remaining first half. The score, Mansfield Senior 21, New Philadelphia 6. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. 
If you're looking to make someone smile or brighten a day, call the floral experts at Pam's Posies. Pam's delivers beautiful, fresh bouquets daily for any occasion. Visit Pam's on the boulevard across from the hospital. You can grab and go unique designs from their large 15-foot cooler. They also have houseplants, gifts, seasonal decor, boutique items, and so much more. Get unique designs with beauty and elegance every time at pamsposies.com. That's pamsposies.com. Well, New Philadelphia with their work cut out for themselves here. 21 to 6, they're behind. 5.08 remaining in the half. And, Coach, you're going to get the football, and we've talked a couple of times about not panicking. Still plenty of time here in this first half for New Philadelphia to scratch and claw and work their way down the field again. Well, they are. And, again, you know, if you're Coach Johnson, I believe that you, you basically need to just stick to your game plan. You know, you just went 94, 95 yards on the last uh, possession. And I would like to think that you're just going to go out and try to do some of the some of the same stuff. And uh, so that's about, that's about all you can really do, I think. Now, DeBolt, well, again, this poor kid's going to get tired. It's his fourth kick of the first half. Puts foot to ball, pops it up on the left side where it's going to be fielded out there. And I believe Carson Long, in fact, it was Carson Long, takes the one hopper, advances it up to about the 22, a perfectly placed zone kick. It, it was, but you can't let the ball hit the ground. When the ball's kicked in the air, that ball's got to be caught so that you don't have to worry about it taking bad hops, etc. You know, you just got to be able to get to that ball. Now, he picked it up on the first bounce, but by that time, that slowed everything down when the ball was able to bounce up and, and kill another second or so so the defense so the uh, re, or the coverage team could get down there and make a stop for very little gain. First and 10, New Philadelphia from their own 22-yard line. Give inside to Richardson. He gets to the 25, 26, 27-yard line. That's the ground and pound we were expecting. Five yards on the carry. We want to thank Kent State Tuscarawas for providing our scoreboard updates tonight. And we'll have some scores for you at the half. Edney Richardson surges ahead for a couple more that time. Oh, they just spotted it. What? And now another flag late. Lots of chirping. Lots of pushing. Lots of talking. Energy running hot tonight between two teams that are unbeaten in the OCC. Personal foul on the Quakers will move this football back. Their second such infraction on the night. Bill, in a game you're trailing against a more talented team, you can't give up 30 yards in two penalties. I mean, that's the third 15-yarder that the Quakers have gotten, and that stuff's got to stop. That, that stuff's got to stop. Uh, you know, you, you just can't do that. You just cannot continue to. And I don't know what's being said. They always catch the second guy, though. Boston Crowell on the sideline now. Fossil rolling right, fires it into the stands. Good. Not going to have that one picked off. Uh, to me, that's what you got to do. You got to you got to break when you break that tackle box. If there's nobody there, just throw it. And we should say this stadium is set up similar to Death Valley in Steubenville. There is no track around the field, so the stands are basically right behind the sidelines. You got a nice area designed for the teams on either side, but then that first row, you're right up against it. No, it's yeah, everything's real close.
Another whistle, more confusion. Fossil now back behind center. Boston Crowell back in the game. Fourth down, 15. Here we go. Fossil swings it out for Richardson. Pass incomplete. My mistake, third down, 15. They've just now reset the scoreboard. It's now fourth and 15. Well, you had me going on that. Well, I had Eddie. myself I'm, going. I'm thinking, why are we going for it here on fourth down? So Zach Rothrock will punt again. And the electric Nate Dismuke is deep to return. Rothrock, foot to ball. It's going to be caught at the 48-yard line, taken across midfield. Here comes Dismuke with a juke. And look out, left sideline. Dismuke, 30, 25. Yeah, house call. 52 yards. We have a penalty marker down. We can only hope. How about the electric play of Nate Dismuke? My goodness. We've got listeners all over, and we're always glad to hear from you. If you got us, text us, tell us hello. Elaine Fuller from South Carolina listening. The great Elaine Fuller. Glad to have you with us here on WJER. And the Quakers dodge a bullet. So the offense will come off the field after the punt. The touchdown will be erased from the board. Still pretty good field position for the T.Y. Tigers. First and 10 at the Mansfield Senior 45-yard line. 3.40 to go in the half. You know, it's very Im Im imperative that the Quakers' defense stop up and, and hold them here. They can't give them a... They can't give him a fourth score. So Reese behind center. They give inside this time. That's not Brown. That's Jameer Petty. We were boasting about Brown being 5'9", 190. Jameer Petty, 5'10", 220. These are some big dudes carrying the pigskin. For the Tigers. Well, he's got big legs. I'll give him that. Gain of a couple. Second down, eight. Reese has it. Reese keeps it straight up the middle. Takes a shot that time from Rothrock. Spun back around by Jackson Corns. Give him a yard on the carry. Nicely done up the middle defensively by the Quakers. Well, here you go. You know, you got a big play. You got third down and seven. And the Quakers need to get a big stop here. Like I said, I don't think the Quakers can give them a four score here in the first half. They have got to, they've got to get a stop because the Tigers get the ball coming out of half. Clock is ticking, 235, 234. Reese behind center, man in motion left to right. Reese with plenty of time to throw. Now going to shuffle right, still looks to throw, fires it right side. And incomplete out of bounds. That will stop the clock at 219 and bring up fourth down and fill what's got to be their first punting situation. I think they're going to punt it, but, you know, unless Coach has enough, uh, you know, Coach, I think it's Coach Bradley has enough confidence in his defense that he can stop them up. But punting the football, I think, is, is the smart thing to do. So DeBolt, who serves as the place kicker, is also the punter. And Carson Long is deep to return. DeBolt sends it airborne. That takes a senior bounce inside the 10 near the 5. And down right at about the 5-yard line. Great punt that time by DeBolt. So with 2.05 remaining in the half, and again, we want you to stay tuned for the Modern Menswear Halftime Report. That was a 
First down and 10 from the five yard line. You don't want to get real fancy here, but you want to try and move the sticks early here. Get out from the goal line. See if you can't pop a big one near midfield. Get on the scoreboard near halftime. Fossil steps up, fires. Pass was intended for Petey. I'm sorry, that's Etney Richardson out there on the right side. Pass incomplete. Fossil seemingly under pressure all night long. And Coach, I'm with you. We've stopped the clock with this incomplete pass. Good chance to uh, keep the clock running and take up bigger chunks on the ground maybe. Fossil has it, tucks it, straight up the middle. Here he comes, 10-yard line. Now right side, sideline, 18-yard line is where he... Steps out of bounds. That's enough for a new Philadelphia first down. With 1.54 to play in the half. Keaton has not looked rattled. Especially impressive when you talk about the kind of heat he has had on him all night. That time patiently took a bump. Found the right hole. Got to the sideline. Stopped the clock. First and ten. And I like what you said. He was patient. He had good patience out there, picked the right hole, was able to give the Quakers another set of downs. First and 10, now he's back looking to throw. Fires middle of the field. Incomplete. Pete DiDonato with a sliding effort. Couldn't come up with the catch. Dismuke in coverage. Dismuke and Petey have been battling this evening. Physically, verbally. Both have had an unsportsmanlike penalty called on themselves when things got a little too hotly contested. Minute 50 in the half. Fossil looks right side, floats it right side, and was looking for Shellis. And that's something we saw with great success in the first week of the season. But in a corner like Jaden Gross, he's running easily stride for stride with Shellis. That's got to be a perfectly thrown pass, and that time just a little over the outstretched hands of the senior. Yeah, a little long. That'll bring up third down and 10. 144 remaining in the half. Kemp Insurance stat report coming up. That Kent Tusk scoreboard coming up. Whistle and a timeout on the field. Should be a timeout by New Philadelphia. And in fact it is. We will take time as well. 144 remaining. It's 21-6 senior. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. We are the Tyson family, and we would like to invite you to come visit your Little Caesars Pizza on West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Fall is in the air, and there's never been a better time to try the delicious, mouth-watering, deep, deep dish pizza at Little Caesars. Pair your pizza with the crazy bread, crazy sauce, and a two liter of Pepsi, and Little Caesars is your one stop for your game day party. Delicious pizza, mouth watering wings, zesty cheese breads, crisp made daily salads, crazy bread, and more. Come visit us at Little Caesars Pizza on West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Well, a big third down play looming. It's third and 10 with a minute 44 remaining in the half. Mike Johnson and company take time. Phil, what are they drawing up in that near side huddle? Well, hopefully they're drawing up a 10-yard play. <laughs> <laughs> He's not yard. the best color man in the business ten, for nothing. Yeah, folks. 10 yards or more. You know, I I can't see the clock. I can't see the clock, so. Oh. I love it. Keaton Fossil, third and 10, takes the snap. He's looking left side, and before he gets walloped, there's a whistle on the play. Mansfield Sr. coming in hot that time from the backside. side. 
Whistle and a timeout that time. Senior takes time. Now a second ticked off the clock. We'll see if they adjust that. We need all the seconds we can get. We'll have area scores. We hope to have some OCC scores. We're going to keep it right here during this timeout on the field. Phil, that uh, when Philly drew first blood for themselves at 14-6, you, you had a feeling of hope. Mansfield Sr. kind of squashed that here in this last drive, a big 35-yard touchdown pass, uh, the second between Reese and Amar Davis. Uh, but Philly still with a little light of hope here. They really need to convert here on third and ten. They do. And uh, they'd re it'd really be good if they could get a score in before half. Fossil looks left, takes pressure, gets slammed to the deck. Number 18, Maurice Bradley, the second. 6'4", 230. Came in hot. And it looks like Senior's going to take time to stop the clock. 1.31 to go in the half. We will take our final time out of the half as well. New Philadelphia trailing Mansfield Senior 21-6. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Pets Place in New Philadelphia is your locally owned leader in pet supply and wellness. Pets Place has products for pets from fish to ferrets, from bunnies to birds, even reptiles, and of course, everything you need for cats and dogs. Stop by and talk to one of their knowledgeable team members about the frequent buyer program. Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 8 and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 6. You can also visit at PetsPlaceOhio.com or on Facebook. And we're back. Quakers trailing Mansfield Senior 21-6. to six. Zach Rothrock in punt formation with a minute 31 remaining in the first half. Good time for him to hammer one. Senior puts right foot to ball. He gets a hold of it. It's going to be fielded at the 46-yard line. Reversing his field, and boy, he had an alley, but was tripped up. Nate Dismuke. That kid has made play after play, and finally we're able to slow him down. Watching on the replay to see who that was. Phil, he tripped over his blocker. He did. We didn't get a hand on him. That's okay. I don't mind, I don't mind that at all because it looked like he had some running room right, right after that. So, Well, and Dismuke just went down near the hash mark on the far side. He may have given himself a Charlie horse. Slamming his right leg into the helmet of one of his blockers. But great field position here for Senior. There's a minute 21 and a half. They lead 21 to 6. Trip receivers far left. Single receiver to the right. In the backfield, it's Amar Davis. Davis now in motion left. Reese. Looking, trying to set up a screen and dumps it off in the middle. Nice job in coverage that time by Jordy Delacruz as Nye Petty was coming across through the middle, Phil, and Jordy was with him step for step. He was, and, you know, it, it looked like they were going to throw the bubble screen out to the to their sideline, but then they come back with a, middle, with a little crossing route inside, and Delacruz made a nice play. Brown now checks back into the backfield. He's to the right side of Reese who awaits the snap from center. And as the ball comes back, a whistle and a flag. They'll say false start on senior. Now things looking up here, getting a couple of calls. Just keep taking them away from their own, from, our, from the goal line, so. If you're clock watching, it's a minute 15 to go in the half. Second down now and 15 after the incomplete pass and the five-yard penalty. 
I would venture to say they're going to look at, look for number eight. They got a lot of people they could look for. Pair of receivers either side. Brown in the backfield. Reese takes the snap, throws it right up the middle. That's going to be caught. And again, it's Amar Davis. And look at Davis get loose. Takes it inside the 40 to 35. Going to be pushed out near the 30-yard line. Call it the 33. Davis 21 yards on the pass. A minute six to go in the half. And why is everyone standing around? Well, we can't hear the officials, Mike. But needless to say, another penalty on the Quakers. And that's going to move the football all the way down inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. And we have no explanation. Well, it, you know, in this particular case, Denny, you got four 15-yard penalties in the first half. That, that, that's definitely not something that, uh, that's something that a team could be proud of at all. Reese rolling left, tucking, gets sideline, gets out, pushed out of bounds at about the 16, stopping the clock at a minute even. I'll credit Bolte with the stop. But, Phil, you're right. This isn't, uh, this isn't the Oakland Raiders out here. We don't want to lead the OCC in unsportsmanlike penalties. We already do. Maybe if we stop, another team will catch up. Yeah, well. Got to be a little more disciplined. Reese takes the snap now on second down. Pumps, tucks it, slides to the five. <laughs> Penalty marker down. Will they say holding, coach? Yeah. I've, I've come to the conclusion that you have to watch this guy as soon as it happens because he's given, you know, he's given the signals as to what the penalty is. Well, as we watch it on the replay, Reese pumps, looking, tucks. Yeah, not, the, not the worst penalty we've seen tonight, but uh, certainly we will take it as it mark, marks the football back to about the 22-yard line. Second down and 14. Clock running at 47 seconds to go in the half. Reese calls for it, gets the snap, looks right, throws right side, over the outstretched hands that time, and a great hit. Oh, of course it was a great hit, so there's a penalty marker down. Carson Long went up for it and cracked the receiver. The Oscar award goes to Elias Owens, the 6'5 senior. And watch this on the replay. Ball floated down the right side. Looks like three guys going after the football to me. But again, I'm not a, an official. Now they're waving off the flag. I just, I sound like the dumbest on air personality. Oh, we have no idea what's going on. Oh, I can tell you is I hope Mr. Desecker is here watching this game and wa is watching his officials. This has been a circus. So wave the flag off. Incomplete pass, third down and 14 from the 22-yard line with 35 seconds to go in the half. This is Reese. Drops straight back, plenty of time. Reese steps up to the left, fires it. Oh, Jordy Delacruz almost had the one-hand pick. Had it in the right palm, couldn't squeeze at that time. But a pass well defended brings up fourth down. Great play by Delacruz. Fourth down, 14. We already know Quentin DeBolt has a leg. We've seen him kick and punt. This is not a chip shot. This will be about a 39-yarder from the center of the field. 
We'll also watch the hold from Dylan McGinney. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is punched short. Great stand by the Quaker D. 21-6, the score remains. 20, 23 seconds remaining in the half. Coach Quakers dodged a bullet. They did. And, and in all honesty, you know, I, I can't see the, the scoreboard, so I don't know how much time's left in this game. Well, just listen to me. There's 23 seconds. Okay, well, okay. that's good. I, so I'm hoping that what happens is the Quakers run this out go in and make some adjustments at half and come out and, and turn a half, turn a half around or turn it around in the second half to see if they can get themselves back in this ball game. Quakers five wide fossil behind center. He's going to tuck it and go straight up the middle crosses the 25 14 seconds clock a ticking. Timeout, New Philadelphia. So 10 seconds to go. And the run advanced the football up to about the 25. Call it the 26. So second down four. Phil, this is where you go deep into the bag of tricks or you go on a knee. What do you prefer? Well, in this particular situation, I'm taking a knee or handing the ball off to Richardson. Richardson. Well, they're they're in spreads. So they're in trips right with twins back down towards our, towards the Quaker sideline. So I'm assuming he's going to tuck it and run it. Oh, there's the running back right there. So. Richardson joins Fossil in the backfield. Ten seconds to go. Quakers down 21-6. Modern menswear halftime show coming up next. Fossil looking, and he's looking deep. Fires. Has a man out there. It's Etney Richardson on the wheel route, and he was driven into the ground by Jayante O'Brien. Pass incomplete. And that time, Phil, he actually had a little time to throw the football. He did. Well, they're only rushing three. So. Clock is stopped with five seconds. Third down and four. The scoreboard yet to adjust. It's third and four, not third and ten. As they show on the scoreboard. Shellis near side by himself. Split out wide left. Richardson in the backfield. Three receivers right. Fossil going to tuck and go. Getting pulled down by the shoulder pad. That will end the first half of play. Quakers with some work to do. Down 21-6. to six. The Modern Menswear Halftime Report is up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Are you ready for fall? Fall goods are arriving at Modern Menswear. They've got a huge selection of seasonal fashions like rain gear, jackets, and warm and cozy fleece to keep you comfortable and looking great. They're also here to get you ready for this year's homecoming activities. Shop early for the best selection. Modern Menswear in downtown New Philadelphia, where the best dressed guys go to shop. Open weekdays 10 to 6 and Saturdays 10 to 3 for all your men's clothing needs. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They're the place to call for industrial, commercial, and residential work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net.
Tired of unreliable internet service and unexpected bill increases? Experience internet another way, the smart way. Smartway Communications is your locally owned and operated high-speed internet provider now serving Dover and New Philadelphia and beyond. Don't get locked into plans with more or less speed than you need. Smartway is the better way. Local customer service, local infrastructure, and community-minded. That's the smart way to get reliable, affordable internet in Tuscarawas County. Call Smartway at 740-254-8201 online at thinksmartway.com. When you think flowers for all your special occasions, think Pam's Posies on the boulevard across from the hospital. Pam's makes birthdays, anniversaries, and your special moments so much brighter because flowers lift spirits and deliver smiles. For unique designs with style, beauty, and elegance every time, shop local, shop quality, shop Pam's Posies on the boulevard, online at pamsposies.com. That's pamsposies.com. Welcome into the Modern Men's Wear Halftime Report, a service of Modern Men's Wear. Go where the best-dressed guys in the area go to shop. Modern Men's Wear, 130 West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. They're open weekdays, 10 to 6, and Saturdays, 10 to 3. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, they, they do tremendous stuff. I, I've seen some of the uh, stuff they're putting together. This is just, I'm, I'm tipping my hand here. Perhaps something for the Quaker basketball coaching staff. Uh, but clearly, uh, Modern Menswear, the area's leader in menswear, uh, tuxedo rental, and so much more. Modern Menswear, 130 West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Coach, uh, as we look at things here in the first half, uh, I'm going to, in just a little bit here, get into our scoreboard update. But uh, right now, we want to look and take a game recap uh, and get everyone up to speed on where we were at scoring-wise. Uh, Mansfield Senior leading at the break, 21-6. to six. They led 14 to nothing after a pair of first-quarter touchdown passes from Duke Reese. The first was to Amar Davis, and the second one uh, was the 38-yarder to Dismuke. Uh, both of those passes without New Philadelphia doing much. It was looking bleak early, but then the Quakers drove the football 95 yards and Keaton Fossil cashed out the score on a 22-yard uh, design quarterback draw. And with 6.58 to go in the half, it was 14-6. to six. But unfortunately for the red and black, Mansfield Sr. had the answer. Uh, and with that, it was Reese to Davis again, this time 35 yards. Uh, and that was the 5.08 mark, making the score 21-6, to six, where we're at right now. And... Uh, as you heard us describe in painstaking detail this last minute of the half, uh, New Philadelphia dodging a late score opportunity bullet by Mansfield Sr. So the deficit just 21-6. to six. Quakers with some work to do, uh, but clearly have showed signs of life, and uh, we hope for some great halftime adjustments by Coach Johnson, Coach Watson, and others as they try to get this thing back on track. Quakers trailing. 21 to 6. We'll take time here and uh, we'll come back. We'll listen to a minute of the Quaker Marching Band. Be back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. There are a lot of steps between conceiving, carrying, and cradling your baby. No matter what stage of motherhood you're in, our team at Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital will be there every step of the way. From your first visit to your first baby, we provide expert care right in the Tuscarawas Valley. Our team partners with each patient to create a custom birthing plan ensuring the comfort and health of you and your baby for every care in the world. To learn more or schedule an appointment, visit unionhospital.org motherhood. Looking for a nice backup camera system for your car, truck, or RV? Check out Cartoons and Accessories in New Philly for all your camera safety solutions. Cartoons has camera systems starting at just $2.99 installed. Cartoons carries camera systems that can be added to your dash, your rear view mirror, or complete standalone systems. Camera systems can even be added to your factory radio screen in most cases. We also carry backup beeping avoidance systems as well. So check us out today. Cartoons and Accessories, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly, 330-339-2006. Be there. Under the direction of Mr. Jeff Furby, let's give you a couple minutes of the Quaker Marching Band.
there's a look at the Marching Quaker Band under the direction of Jeff Furby. Their great uh, competition show getting put together and looking good on the field here at Arlen Field. 21 to 6 is the halftime score. Quakers trailing. We'll be back with the Kemp Insurance Halftime Stat Report. That's up next as a part of our Modern Menswear Halftime Show right here on the Sports Voice of the Valley. We love our pets. <coughs> Accidents and messes included. Shaw Floors Pet Perfect Carpet helps you love confidently with protection from everyday messes and odors. Designed with the whole family in mind, Pet Perfect features built-in protection from staining, fading, and pet hair. Make tails wag with Shaw Floors Pet Perfect. Designed for you, perfect for your pet. Find Shaw's Pet Perfect styles at Williams Floor Covering, 98 Southwester Avenue in Dover. The Hennis Care Center family has job opportunities for qualified candidates. Hennis and Bolivar and in Dover is now hiring STNAs along with other positions. Hennis is proud to offer competitive wages, generous health and life insurance benefits, shift flexibility, 401k, meals during shifts, paid personal time, and more. When you work with Hennis, you become part of the family. Apply in person at Hennis and Bolivar or Dover or apply online at henniscarecenter.com. Henry Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing's High School Sports Game Day Giveaway is back. Enter now before October 20th at henrygameday.com for your chance to win a Bryant Ductless Mini Split System with complimentary installation. The winner will be announced during the WJER halftime coverage of the 120th Dover New Philadelphia High School Football Game. Contact Henry Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing for all your residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, and plumbing services. Henry Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, your partner to live and work Comfortably. Welcome back to Arlen Field, New Philadelphia trailing Mansfield Senior 21 6. This is the Modern Menswear Halftime Show. I want to thank Jacob and Carson for keeping things going online. And uh, it's been a, a, I just think watching these things and being able to watch replays and, and have this live stream feed is a great addition to the, the way we do things at WJER Sports. So our thanks to those two fellas for keeping us up and on and running. Uh, of course, those two guys uh, with Claxon Communications and Casey and his great team, just glad to have them a part of our uh, sports team this year again. Uh, Denny Trimmer with you. Phil Tidrick will join here in just a moment with the Kemp Insurance Halftime Stat Report. And, of course, the Kemp Insurance Stat Report brought to you by Kemp Insurance. Nationwide on your side with a call to Don Kemp, your local hometown agent for over 35 years. Coach, what do you have? Okay, thanks a lot, Denny. Okay, team stats uh, for tonight's football game for the Mansfield Senior Tigers uh, on the night. Uh, they rushed the ball 60, six for 62 yards. They had uh, 14 carries, 62 yards. And passing the ball. He was 7 of, uh, Reese was 7 of 16 for 146 yards, 208 total yards in the first half. For your New Philadelphia Quakers, the Quakers in the first half, they rushed the ball for 112 yards, passed the ball for 45 yards, 157 yards for the Quakers offensively in the first half. We'll take a quick break, and we will come back with individual stats for tonight's New Philadelphia Mansfield Tiger football game. Running a business is challenging, but managing your finances shouldn't be. This is Carrie Miller, Cash Management Officer at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that time is money, which is why we offer a suite of cash management solutions designed to streamline your operations. From online banking to merchant services, we have the tools you need to keep your business moving forward. Visit our website at csb1.com or call 800-654-9015 to learn more. The Commercial and Savings Bank, your partner in success, member FDIC. 
To be a success in football, it takes a team effort. A smart coach, a take charge starting lineup, and cooperation. Don and Nathan Kemp and the team at Kemp Insurance are dedicated to providing a strong lineup of plans for a winning future. Let Kemp Insurance provide you with all star coverage for your auto, home, farm, business, and life. For a secure future, get the winning team at Kemp Insurance on your side. Kemp Insurance, your local hometown agents for over 35 years on East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. And welcome back to Arlen Field, New Philadelphia, with some work to do, trailing 21-6. to six. Uh, We are at the half, and this is the Modern Menswear Halftime Show. You're listening to the Kemp Insurance Halftime Stat Report. Coach, you've got the individual numbers from the first half as well. I, I do. Thanks, Denny. Uh, in the first half of the Mansfield Tigers, uh, they were led on the ground by their 6-foot-4-inch quarterback, uh, Duke Reese, he ran for, he ran for, I can't even find it, 47 yards on six carries in the first half. You had Brown who had nine yards on four carries. You had Petty who had uh, five yards on four carries for the Tigers. Through the air, Duke Reese was seven of 16, 146 yards and three TDs with an interception. Leading receivers was Davis for the Tigers, five catches, 92 yards, two TDs. You had Dismuke, had one catch for 38 yards and a TD. Individual stats for your new Philadelphia Quakers. The Quakers in the first half were led on the ground by junior quarterback Keaton Fossil. Carried the ball 10 times for 99 yards. Leading rusher, Edney Richardson, ran 10 times for 40 yards in the first half. Through the air, uh, Fossil was uh, 4 for 11 for 45 yards. Leading receivers, you had DiDonato with two catches for 25 yards. Carson Long, a catch for 12. Jordy Dela Cruz, one catch for eight yards. Dela Cruz also had an interception in the first half for the Quakers. Quakers in the first half, they had four penalties, 60 yards, while the Tigers had three penalties for 30 yards. Denny? That's a look at the Kemp Insurance Halftime Stat Report, a service of Kemp Insurance, your local nationwide agent, your hometown agent for over 35 years. 21 to 6, the score. Mansfield Senior on top of New Philadelphia at the break. We're going to take time here. When we come back, we will have a Kent State Tuscarawas scoreboard update. That's up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Since 1912, people have enjoyed the delicious taste of Troyer's Trail Bologna. Whether it's off the ring, on a sandwich, or with cheese and crackers, one thing is for sure, you know it will be delicious. Troyer's Trail Bologna, five generations and over 110 years of quality and tradition. Look for Troyer's Trail Bologna at your local grocery store and check them out online at troyerstrail.com. Good luck to all the players in tonight's game. The T County Boxing Academy is the area's number one training center for those who are serious about boxing. Serious athletes know that everything they put into their bodies affects their workouts, which is why the T County Boxing Academy offers the industry's best supplements at the best prices for the best workouts possible, including brands like 5% Nutrition. Try their real food protein with low glycemic carbs. If you want to train like the pros, use the supplements Pro Boxer Sugar Dre Donovan of Eurexville uses. Available at the T County Boxing Academy, located on East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. When you think flowers for all your special occasions, think Pam's Posies on the boulevard across from the hospital. Pam's makes birthdays, anniversaries, and your special moments so much brighter because flowers lift spirits and deliver smiles. For unique designs with style, beauty, and elegance every time, shop local, shop quality, shop Pam's Posies on the boulevard, online at pamsposies.com. That's pamsposies.com. Welcome back to the Modern Menswear Halftime Report. Denny Trimmer and Phil Tidrick with you here at Arlen Field in Mansfield. 
Not good so far for the Quakes. They've got some work to do coming out of the break, trailing 21-6 to to an awfully talented Mansfield senior squad. It's time now to take a look at our Kent State Tuscarawas scoreboard update. Stay close to home, save money, earn your degree at Kent State Tuscarawas, and create your own success story. Plan your future today at kent.edu slash tusk. We are Kent State, and you belong here. Well, we've got some great scores from around the area games. Uh, Indian Valley, St. Clairsville, two tough teams. We knew this would be tight. How about 7-6 to six in the defensive back and forth? Martins Ferry, 21. Newcomerstown, 17. It's Connaughton Valley, 26. Bridgeport, 19. This was a shocker to me. Sandy Valley, 21. Malvern, 7 at the half. Ridgewood putting it on Central Catholic, 42-3. to three. Homecoming in Strasburg, not going as planned. Tusky Valley on top, 41 to 9. And a score from the Brick House. This is a halftime score. Steubenville, 20. Dover, no score. That's your Kent State Tuscarawas scoreboard update. We are Kent State, and you belong here. Let's take time. We'll come back. We'll get you ready for third quarter action. That's up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. At Kent State Tuscarawas, you create your own success. Choose from over 30 bachelor's and associate degrees, including animation game design, bachelor of social work, criminology and justice studies, psychology, engineering technology, nursing, and vet tech. Our tuition is low, our professors are excellent, and we deliver a high-quality academic experience. Stay close to home. Spend less. Prepare for your future today at Kent State Tuscarawas. You belong here. We are the Tyson family, and we would like to invite you to come visit your Little Caesars Pizza on West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Fall is in the air, and there's never been a better time to try the delicious, mouth-watering, deep, deep-dish pizza at Little Caesars. Pair your pizza with the crazy bread, crazy sauce, and a two-liter of Pepsi, and Little Caesars is your one-stop for your game day party. Delicious pizza, mouth-watering wings, zesty cheese breads, crisp made daily salads, crazy bread, and more. Come visit us at Little Caesars Pizza on West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Hi, this is Jan McInturf, wishing our local teams the best of luck in tonight's games. Supporting your friends and neighbors is why I started McInturf Realty. Our staff works as a team to treat you the way you want to be treated. We truly care about you, our customer. Since 1992, we've seen national real estate firms move into our area. And now McInturf is one of the few remaining local hometown realtors. We are a local company supporting our local teams. And we thank you for your support. As my granddaughter Mason says, They did call. And find us online at McInturfRealty.net. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. And this puts the close on the Modern Menswear Halftime Report. Our thanks to Modern Menswear, 130 West High Avenue in downtown New Philadelphia. Open weekdays 10 to 6, Saturdays 10 to 3. You can follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Coach, as we look at that last minute or so, the team's going to be coming back out uh, to get things put back together. And certainly, if you're the New Philadelphia Quakers, you did have to take some things apart at halftime. Hopefully, you put some things in place when you put this back together that are going to put us in the right direction here in half number two. No question. I mean, the, the first thing that Quakers are going to need to do is come out and get a stop. You know, they've got to get the ball back offensively. To me, you know, it, it revolves around the, uh, the defense here to start. But then once the Quakers get the ball back, then, then it's got to be up to the Quaker offense to see what they can get going you know, against the Tiger defense. And, uh, you know, they were somewhat successful running the football. You know, the first half, they ran for 112 yards in the first half. You know, the big problem with the Quakers is they did not throw the ball very, very well at all. And as a matter of fact, they ended the half on six straight incompletions. 
and uh, unfortunately, that's that makes it that makes it all that much harder. But uh, you know, there were some bright spots. You know, the running of Keaton Fossil and the fact that the offensive line. There were times when our quarterback had times to throw. I mean, he was thrack, fat, uh, sacked three times for 34 yards in losses, or that would have jumped up their total uh, offensive output for the first half. But whatever they whatever they did on that touchdown, that 95-yard touchdown drive, they need to bottle that and bring that back out here in the second half, Denny. Well, and I think where I'm losing this game is emotionally it feels like we're down 50-6. to six. It's only 21-6. to six. You are a drive away from making this a one-score game, but you're right. It starts with this uh, first look at the Quaker D as uh, things are going to get started. Mansfield Sr. will start with the football uh, here in quarter number three. Are there things other than the sack yardage and the penalty yardage that are real big concerns for you right now? Well, the big concern for me is, is the guys that are open over the middle of the, uh, of the football field. Talking about Mansfield Sr. guys open over the middle of the football field. And once they get that ball open over the, mid- the middle, one, you know, miss one tackle, and there they go. You know, I was very, you know, I was very impressed with the tackling of the Quakers in last week's game against Ashland. You know, I would say maybe one or two missed tackles at its most. Well, here so far in this, in, in, in this football game, I could probably, I'm not sure I can count them on one hand, probably have to use two hands to see how many missed tackles the Quakers had on defense in that first half. Well, and when you're looking at it and you're leading tacklers from the half or guys in your secondary, uh, that's that's never a really good sign. But give credit, uh, especially guys that – or a guy that jumped out to me, Jordy Delacruz, with an interception, with a pass breakup near the goal line, and fill a number of key tackles uh, for the senior. He has brought it tonight. He, he has. And, uh, you know, he had one catch offensively. He had the one interception, almost the second interception down inside, the one-handed variety. And so he's played pretty well. But, you know, the thing that's the thing the Quakers got to do is they got to take away the middle of the field. I really haven't seen Mansfield Sr., Mansfield, go to the outside a whole lot. They, you know, there when they were trying to milk the clock a little bit, and they, they threw a couple of passes to the sidelines, but just about every pass to the of Quakers has been a pass right down the heart of the field. Final seconds of the halftime clock running down, getting set for second half action to start, and that's being brought to you by the Tuscarawas County YMCA. The YMCA is here for our community, stronger in spirit, mind, and body, stronger for you, stronger for us, Stronger Together. The Tusk YMCA now offers a 24-7 fitness center. Find your passion. Find your why. Visit the why today on Monroe Street in Dover. Aiden Mushrush getting set to kick off for the Quakers. And looking deep. I think it put any number of folks back there, but why not go with Nate Dismuke? He was electric in the first half. He is back. And joining him back there is going to be number eight, Amar Davis. He had the two touchdown catches. Well, I definitely wouldn't be kicking it back there. Uh, Negative. Foot to ball. Strong kick. Fielded at about the 25. And this is Amar Davis with it. Davis gets out to the 35-yard line. Looked like he was going to fumble. Spun out of a tackle. Now he's got room. Midfield 40 inside the 40. And Amar Davis already with two scores. Looked like by the end of that thing, Phil, he was going to get touchdown number three. I thought he was. And if it wouldn't have been for, I believe, Etney Richardson, who uh, made the stop on him, uh, I don't think he would have. I think he would have scored. Spun out of a pair of tackles. At the 40-yard line, then got ahead of steam. Crossed midfield, then crossed into the Quaker 40-yard line. First and 10 at the 40. The plus 40, if you will. Reese and Petty in the backfield. The give is to Petty. He's going to work right side. Takes a bump, keeps on chugging. 
He's going to have 10 yards and a first down. Spot that football right at the 30. Move the chains. Petty again, 5'10", 220, and that time, Phil, a head of steam. Yes, it was, and uh, they, the Quakers, though, missed a few tackles on that, on that particular. They go right back to Petty, this time on the left side. Cracks the 25-yard line, gets inside the 25. Not much more after that. Rothrock and Jaeger on the tackle. Petey got caught in a crunch up. Slow to get up. Can't be slow to get up against this team. They are right back to the line of scrimmage. They are. To give inside this time, it's going to be number four again, Jameer Petty. Move the chains again. Gets down to the 18-yard line, first and 10. Tigers back in that hurry up. Petty, right side. Garrett Dillon Ryan, the first contact, but he was on the ride for a little bit. So they go inside the 15, down to about the 13 yard line. Call it the 12. Pickup of about six. Second down, four. And again, the Tigers relentless, right back to the line of scrimmage. Snap is back. The give. This time it's Brown. How about these senior running backs? Jameer Petty, Zion Brown. Yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty good tandem, really. But again, you know, you you take a look and you watch the Quakers, and they're just not, and they're just not, they're not tackling the way they've tackled so far this season. Now we're playing some folks that are a lot more athletic, but. Uh, Brown, left side, five-yard line, corner of the end zone, touchdown. So the 12-yard scamper from Zion Brown pushes this out to a 27-6 lead. Yeah, that was pretty, that was honestly, I hate to say this, that was pretty simple. You know, they didn't do anything except run the ball off tackle one side, run the ball off tackle the other side. And their offensive line has kind of taken it to our defensive line. On to a try the point after is Quentin DeBolt. Snap is back, hold is down, the kick is up and into the night sky, making the score 28-6 to senior. 9.29 remaining third quarter, back with more third quarter action right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Tired of unreliable internet service and unexpected bill increases? Experience internet another way, the smart way. Smartway Communications is your locally owned and operated high-speed internet provider now serving Dover and New Philadelphia and beyond. Don't get locked into plans with more or less speed than you need. Smartway is the better way. Local customer service, local infrastructure, and community-minded. That's the smart way to get reliable, affordable internet in Tuscarawas County. Call Smartway at 740-254-8201 online at ThinkSmartWay. If you're looking to make someone smile or brighten a day, call the floral experts at Pam's Posies. Pam's delivers beautiful, fresh bouquets daily for any occasion. Visit Pam's on the boulevard across from the hospital. You can grab and go unique designs from their large 15-foot cooler. They also have houseplants, gifts, seasonal decor, boutique items, and so much more. Get unique designs with beauty and elegance every time at pamsposies.com. That's pamsposies.com. Well, still work to do. Quakers trailing 28-6. to six. They're getting set to receive the Quinton DeBolt kickoff. Phil, an interesting formation here. Jordy Delacruz, who's normally deep in center field, has kind of come up to the next level. Anticipating a pooch-style kick, and that one's going to get popped out of bounds. That's the best case scenario scenario for the Quakers. They get the ball on the 35-yard line. So the first New Philadelphia possession of the second half. We'll see what kind of adjustments 
they were able to put in place. We want to thank scoreboard sponsors. Uh, all evening long, you've seen the, the ticker across the bottom that has the Quakers score and the Mansfield score. Number of area businesses, Smart Way, Omni Fiber. How about Wendy's? Our thanks to the local Wendy's restaurants. Stop at any local Wendy's and get something good like a Dave's Double. Their recipe is quality. This is Richardson up the middle on first down. Good carry for about four. No stopping that senior. No, you know he's you know he's going to go play hard. There isn't any question about that. Nine oh five, third quarter, clock rolling. Quakers trailing twenty eight to six. Second down now, and here comes Fossil. He's going to tuck and go. He's got the forty five yard line to. Let me slam down there. But that's going to be enough to move the chains. Two carries. First down yardage. By the way, that's not a first down. That ball spot, that ball is short of the 45 yard line. We don't want to question that one, though. We actually got that in our favor. Uh, we're questioning it, all right. Richardson ahead for a yard, not much more. That front is so athletic. So quick to the ball. Well, he's, you know, they're, they're all athletes. All their, their big hosses play on the offensive line. All their athletic kids are playing on the defensive line. Coach, that's your best take of the night because that's exactly, when you look down and look across that front four, those are basketball players. Fossil rolling right, fires low. Was it caught? It was not. Intended for Jaeger out on the right flat. Tight end couldn't come up with the hot one. Diving attempt. Brings up third down and about eight. Quakers looking to move these chains again. Down 22 here in the third quarter. Snap is back to Fossil. Little time to throw. Now he's going to tuck it. Nope, going to pull it back out. Oh, and look out. If ever there was a targeting call, Richardson was the intended receiver, and we'll see that in replay, I'm sure. Here, Phil, watch as they're going back. Fossil looked like there he was going to tuck it and run, pulled it back, had Richardson open in the seam, and Richardson took a forearm to the crown of the helmet. No play made on the ball. The play was made on the receiver. Well, that would be that would be an ejection in college or pros. That would be an ejection. Well, Richardson now on the Quaker sideline for a breather. He's got all his faculties just uh, clearing the cobwebs. Well, there's a lot of kids who wouldn't have got up from that. You got from that, that. Right. He got smoked. First and 10 at the senior 38-yard line. Here comes Fossil, 35-30, down near the 25-yard line on the Pams Posey's performance play. Gain of 11 on first and 10. And the senior Keat, or the junior Keaton Fossil with another chain-moving run, Pams Posey's. Well, their flower club is a no-brainer. They'll set up beautiful fresh flower deliveries for the special people in your life on all of those special dates and occasions. You'll never forget an important date again. <laughs> you laugh, but you're in that club. 7-0-3 to play third quarter. The inside give this time. And that's going to be Jaden Bolts on the tote. 
his first carry of the night. Picked up a few, brings up second and seven. Don't forget, we'll have a Subway player of the game for you at the conclusion of this contest. Our, our thanks to the Fitzgerald-owned Subway restaurants in our area. I have to say that, you know, we're down 20, what is it, 27 to 6, 28 to 6. And the, and the shots that Eddie Richardson took, I might have to sit him out the rest of the game. I, you know, I want him to be able to play, the, you know, the next. Man in motion was Di Donato. Ball got popped free, recovered by the Quakers, but whistled us and no penalty. I didn't see the ball come loose, to Well, be it honest. came loose when uh, Petey came through in motion. Garrett Dillon Ryan was the man on the spot that hopped on it, kept possession. They lose three in the process, brings up third down ten. A trio of receivers, wide right. Owen Shellis, wide left. Fossil looking, steps up, fires, but fires the fastball low. That was intended for Di Donato. And that brings up fourth down, 10. Well, he's got to go. To me, it looks like Keaton Fossil's not going through his progressions at all. It looks like he's, he's focused in on one receiver, and that's who we're throwing it to. And, and unfortunately, you know, that's just not that's just not real, real. You've got to go through all your progressions to see who is open. You just can't say, I'm going to throw it to this guy. And that's what it looks it's looked like here uh, the last few passes. Fourth down, 10. The snap is back. Fossil with time. Now force right, looking right. Throws end zone right. And that ball is tapped away in the end zone. Two receivers were out there. Pass was intended for Di Donato and turnover on downs. And, of course, a penalty. And, Phil, it's going to extend the drive. We'll watch on the replay to see if the guys captured it, but they say a late hit on the quarterback, a personal foul for roughing the passer. You can see there Fossil back. He's going to get flushed yeah, out to well, the right. Yeah, good time to throw the ball. And we'll see if he takes a late shot here. It was knocked to the ground. We'll take it. As we have ventured back into the Pets Place red zone. Pets Place at 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest. South side of New Philadelphia. PetsPlaceOhio.com. You also find them on Facebook. The leaders in area pet supply and wellness. Timeout, New Philadelphia. The Quakers will take their first timeout. With 527 remaining, third quarter, and trailing 28-6, they want to talk about it. We will take time as well. Be back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Attention local businesses. Are you looking to expand, invest, or start a new venture? This is Chris Delatour at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We know that growing your business takes more than just hard work. It takes the right financial partner. At CSB, we offer a range of commercial lending solutions tailored to your unique needs. From equipment financing to expansion loans, our team of experts is ready to support your success. Call or text us at 800-654-9015 to discuss your business goals today. The Commercial and Savings Bank, empowering local businesses. Member FDIC. The Eat Fresh Refresh just won't stop. Now Subway is refreshing their catering with easy order platters and box meals perfect for any occasion. Start with sandwich or wrap platters. They're loaded with craveable crowd pleasers to feed your crew without all the work. Or try individually packaged box meals featuring a tasty six inch sub, foot long or wrap, plus chips and a freshly baked cookie. When you have a group to feed, make it fun, delicious and easy with catering from Subway. Visit Subway.com to place your catering order. Advance notice may be required. Well, good news. Quaker fans, Etney Richardson back in the game. Quaker's going to go with their heavy lineup package, and that's going to force the hand of Mansfield Sr. to take time. I want to tell you what. That's one tough young man, number one, Etney Richardson. Because I'll tell you what, he got lit up on a cheap shot, which the officials called to feel the flag. But as we talked earlier, I don't know if we talked on the air or not, that's college or that's pro. He, that boy, that young man who, who stuck him like that, 
would be over on the sidelines watching the rest of the football game. Well, Richardson came over to the Quaker sideline, had uh, some in-depth depth talks with athletic trainer Todd Steele, and you got to ask all the right concussion questions and yep. make sure everything's A-OK, -okay. and Richardson well, obviously plast, uh, passed those bars. Uh, and he's a warrior. I can guarantee he went up to Coach Johnson, Coach Johnson and said, I'm, I'm going back in. You know, and that's what you love to see about him. This is his time to shine. You know, this is his season to shine, and he doesn't want to sit out of play. So it's Richardson, Bolts, and Magoni in the backfield with Fossil. Fossil, they give on the crossing action to Bolts. Gets inside the 15 down to about the 12. They'll give him a yard on the spot. Second down and 10. And now they'll go back to the speedsters on the field. Dela Cruz, Didonato, long to the right. Shellis split wide left. It's Richardson in the backfield. Fossil throwing right. He's got Dela Cruz. Oh, nice cut move at the 10. The 5 gets chopped down inside the 5. Little open field magic from Jordy Dela Cruz. And now he's shaking up. He is not happy. Coach Steele out there now. We are going to take time, as I don't want to break this down. New Philadelphia trailing 28-6, to but moving the football. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Life is full of milestones. Getting married, purchasing a vehicle, having children, buying a home, opening a business, planning for retirement. The list goes on and on, and you can enjoy these special moments even more knowing you're covered by the Hanhart Insurance Agency. Life, auto, home, disability, business, they have plans to protect you throughout all your milestones. Hanhart Insurance on West 3rd Street in downtown Dover, a trusted name in insurance for more than 100 years. We love our pets, accidents and messes included. Shaw Floors Pet Perfect Carpet helps you love confidently with protection from everyday messes and odors. Designed with the whole family in mind, Pet Perfect features built-in protection from staining, fading, and pet hair. Make tails wag with Shaw Floors Pet Perfect. Designed for you, perfect for your pet. Find Shaw's Pet Perfect styles at Williams Floor Covering, 98 South Worcester Avenue in Dover. Coming back to live action, Jordy Dela Cruz able to, with some assistance, make his way off the field, including the last couple of steps trotting off the field. First and goal at the one-yard line. Fossil, the give. Richardson, the cash. Touchdown, Quakers. And we are back in business. 26-12 on the Richardson one-yard run. 4.28 remaining third quarter. Phil, an impressive drive by the Red and Black. That was. You know, aided by a couple of penalties, but hey, we'll take it. They did just enough, made some good plays, uh, hit a pass play, which they they had went like 10 passes in a row that were incomplete and hit a big pass play to Dela Cruz. Uh, and he took it down to the goal line, unfortunately. Got twisted up a little bit and came out of the game. Looks to me like he's going to be fine. Well, we're going for two here. Remember that first PA attempt was missed. Fossil going to keep it himself and stroll into the end zone, making it 28-14. to 14. Game back on with 4.28 to go. Third quarter, it is Mansfield Senior 28, New Philadelphia 14. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. 
Looking for a nice backup camera system for your car, truck, or RV? Check out Cartoons and Accessories in New Philly for all your camera safety solutions. Cartoons has camera systems starting at just $2.99 installed. Cartoons carries camera systems that can be added to your dash, your rear view mirror, or complete standalone systems. Camera systems can even be added to your factory radio screen in most cases. We also carry backup beeping avoidance systems as well. So check us out today. Cartoons and Accessories, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly, 330-339-2006. Be there. Well, Coach, we couldn't have asked for anything better offensively from the Quakers. They took the punch. Mansfield Sr. starts with a big score, but New Philadelphia didn't hang their heads. They drove the length of the field and cashed it out. They, they did, and, and, you know, but, you know, it still comes down. Can the Quakers' defense stop the Mansfield, Mansfield Tiger offense? Uh, you know, that, that's, that to me is going to be the real key. That's the first thing you got to do now. If they can do that this time and go down and take it and make it 28-21, you know, that, that's pretty good. Mush Rush's kick is bobbled, recovered, and a lot of side-to-side -side running. Nice tackle out there they didn't let by him, Carson Long. Yeah, sorry, they didn't let him get to, get to corner turn, Denny. That was a good play. Starting field position about the 37-yard line. See if the Quaker defense can throw a wrench into the offensive plans of the Tigers. It's been some tough sledding at times. Yeah, I would say that they're going to hand that ball off to either uh, Petrie. Well, Petty in the backfield Petty, now. Yeah, or... Brown. Quakers backed within two scores, trailing 28-14. Duke Reese, the quarterback, calling for the snap. Gives it to Petty. Petty shakes through a couple of tackles. Now is dragging Zach Rothrock. And that speaks to the strength of the senior running back because Zach Rothrock is a load. Gain to the 46 for a first down. Petty will remain the back. Man in motion as Amar Davis. Reese gets the snap, hands off, and right up the gut for more. Just churning the legs is Jameer Petty. Pickup of about five. Second and five. Tigers on the attack. Pair receivers left, wing back left. He moved early, no whistle. Here comes Petty. Petty ripped down. Tackle out there by Oscar Pastor. That's a big play. That was a big play by Pastor. Because I'll tell you what, if they didn't get him right there, he might still be running. Well, and he got him at the line of scrimmage. He's going to bring up a tough third down look here. Third and five. Boy, the Quakers love a stop here. Single receiver, far left. Twins right, wing right. Here's the give to Petty. Petty going to get chopped down on a Pam's Posey's performance play. Jaden Bolts, among others, limiting that to just a two-yard carry. Phil, you've got to have some bravado to make this four-down territory. I'm telling you, they feel that they can, their defense matches up well enough with the Quakers that they're going to get either that or they're going to try to get a quick snap, try to make them jump off sides. Reese tried the hard count, now back behind center. Takes the snap, the give is to Petty. Petty turning, Petty didn't get it! Jackson Corns on the Pams, Posey's performance play. Oh! Corns shed his block and Phil, it was a one-on-one. -on -one. He took the back on head on and ripped him down. 
Well, now let's see what the Quakers, the Quaker D did their job. Denny, let's see what the offense can do here, if they could follow that up. Quaker, a, Quakers with some good starting field position. Ball up the 45-yard line. I bet next time on fourth and five, he's punts. <laughs> Quakers stood up to the test. Petey and Long, wide right. Shellis split left. Richardson now, circle or wheel route left, just off the outstretched fingers. Had him open. As you'll see in the replay, Richardson went up to get it just off of the fingertips. All of a sudden, this Quaker sideline has a pulse. The Quaker fans are re-engaged. And boy, that would have been a big play. It was. And you know what? I, that was a pretty close. But the big boy out, Owen Schillis, was out there on this side. And he had plenty of room, too. He ran a little skinny post. And he also was wide open. So second and ten now. Fossil. And with whistles... New Philadelphia forced to take another timeout. A little unorganized offensively, but good to see Jordy Delacruz back on the field for the red and black. We'll take time here. 150 to go, third quarter. The score, Mansfield Senior 28, New Philadelphia 14. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Eurexville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. Welcome back to WJER's coverage of New Philadelphia Quaker football. Quakers with signs of life here in the third quarter, trailing now just 28 to 14. Big defensive stop now. The Quakers with a chance on second and 10. Fossil gets back to about the line of scrimmage, maybe an inch more. Had a head of steam on that design quarterback run, but Phil got tripped up in the hole. Well, it's easy for me to see it up here. He made the wrong cut. His cut was inside that time. And uh, so, hey, you know, the young man's did a heck of a job running the football here in this football game. So every, every once in a while, you know, guys are going to make the wrong cuts. Third down and 10. They'll say no gain on the play. Rolling left now. Taking heat as Fossil. Pass intended for DiDonato. A little too tall. They had Carson Long deep in that route. Pete was kind of the middleman. Edney Richardson shallow. But at fourth and ten near midfield. Quakers will punt and try and flip the field on the Tigers. Minute four remaining third quarter. Rothrock in punt formation and the dangerous Nate Dismuke standing at about the 20 yard line awaiting the punt. Rothrock did a great job handling the snap. Unfortunately, that throws the timing off for the kick. Kick out of bounds at about the 30 yard line where Senior will set up shot first and 10. We're going to get you a score update, courtesy of Cartoons. Glad to have Cartoons along for these in-game score updates. Dover now back in the fray. They trail 34 to 14. Indian Valley is up over St. Clairsville, 20 to 12. Newcomerstown falling behind a little further to Martin's Ferry, 41-28. Sandy Valley, 40. Malvern, 7. Shocker of the night. First and 10. Reese has to pull it down and run. He's able to slip through one tackle. 
And Brody Gillen able to trip him up. Gain of about five for the quarterback, Reese. Missed a couple of tackles. We had him at the line of scrimmage, Denny. If you make those tackles. And I know he's slippery and I know he's very athletic, but we just got to break down. We got to grab a hold of something. Reese calls for the snap, gets it. The gift of Brown, beautiful tackle that time. Boston Crowell came shooting through. Loss of a couple on the play. Pam's Posey's performance play, Boston Crowell. And that's going to be the end of quarter number three. Quakers back in the mix, trailing 28-14. Back with fourth quarter action right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Are you ready for fall? Fall goods are arriving at Modern Menswear. They've got a huge selection of seasonal fashions like rain gear, jackets, and warm and cozy fleece to keep you comfortable and looking great. They're also here to get you ready for this year's homecoming activities. Shop early for the best selection. Modern Menswear in downtown New Philadelphia, where the best dressed guys go to shop. Open weekdays 10 to 6 and Saturdays 10 to 3 for all your men's clothing needs. Pets Place in New Philadelphia is your locally owned leader in pet supply and wellness. Pets Place has products for pets from fish to ferrets, from bunnies to birds, even reptiles, and of course, everything you need for cats and dogs. Stop by and talk to one of their knowledgeable team members about the frequent buyer program. Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 8 and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 6. You can also visit at PetsPlaceOhio.com or on Facebook. Third quarter action gets underway with a key third down and seven. Mansfield senior with it. Reese delivers a fastball high incomplete. He was looking for Dismuke, and that time pretty good coverage underneath and on top. So a flag was thrown, and then a flag was waved off. Second time we've seen that tonight. Oh, Phil, these officials. So give the Quaker defense another tip of the cap. Quinton DeBolt on to punt. Carson Long standing at about the 31-yard line, deep to return. High snap, fielded by DeBolt. Puts foot to ball. That ball hits at the 41. Takes a senior roll inside the 35, down to about the 32. But again, Phil, the Quaker D answering the call. They did. They did a great job on that, that possession. What the Quakers have done, what the Quakers need to do, the Quakers are one for six this half. They're on a one for their last 12 through the air. So they, they've got to start hooking up a little bit uh, with, their, with their receivers. And they have had some close shots. They have. Balls on the hands. Wheel routes just a little long. So it's there for them. Just haven't been able to convert. Fossil fakes to Richardson, tucks it himself. Works it ahead for a couple. Well, they won't even say a couple. They'll say one. Second down, nine. Don't forget, we'll have a Subway player of the game for you at the conclusion of this contest. You know, Denny, that's the one thing I've always really tried to figure out with officials. When you have a big pile up like that and you've got your ball carrier stop, you've got to blow that whistle. Those guys are really late blowing that whistle. And that's what uh, the Quaker faithful were shouting, if you could perhaps hear from the crowd, Mike, down below. Fossil floats it left. Catch is made. Ball is dropped. Petey had it, couldn't haul it in. Third 
Would have made it a more manageable third down. They would have. Yeah, you know, and they can't go for it. To me, they can't go with it on fourth down yet. But that's not that's not my call, obviously. Clock stops at 10.54 on the incomplete pass. And the Quakers will come out five wide. Well, not without some confusion. Timeout, New Philadelphia. Fossil didn't like what he saw in that alignment. Called time. We will take time as well. It's 28-14. Big third down coming up for the Quakers. Back with that play and more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. At Kent State Tuscarawas, you create your own success. Choose from over 30 bachelor's and associate degrees, including animation game design, bachelor of social work, criminology and justice studies, psychology, engineering technology, nursing, and vet tech. Our tuition is low, our professors are excellent, and we deliver a high-quality academic experience. Stay close to home. Spend less. Prepare for your future today at Kent State Tuscarawas. You belong here. Third down, nine, 10.54 remaining fourth quarter. Quakers down a pair of scores, 28-14. Phil, they come back with that five wide set, three to the top on the left side, two below. Fossil with time, shuffles his feet, now moving out of the pocket. Got ripped down and the ball came loose. And they'll say Mansfield Sr. has the football. Fossil was motioning to throw, and as he was winding up, got pulled down from behind. That forced the ball to pop free. Tough, tough turnover for the red and black Mansfield senior sitting pretty here. Up two scores and has the football at the Quaker 34-yard line. Phil, a bit of a dry spell through the air for the Quakers. Yeah, you betcha. It, it has been. And like I said, we, you know, I know he doesn't have a great deal of time, but what you have to do then is shorten up your routes. Fake give. Reese fires. Great catch by Dismuke. Oh, boy, middle of the field, which has been their bread and butter tonight, Phil. He went down and got that. Yes, he did. Pretty good coverage. You can hear one of the Quaker players barking. He's been pulled out of the game again. First and ten. The hand to Petty. Petty with a little shake. Gets inside the 15, inside the 10. Going to pile up on him at about the seven yard line. It's going to be real close to first down. See where they spot the football. And will, in fact, move the chains or put the chains down. It's now first and goal for the Tigers. The give, this is Petty, sheds one man, sheds another, keeps the legs driving. And here's your question about the whistle. See, that, that whistle was at least a second and a half too late. At least. You know, you've got to take the safety of those kids into consideration, and I don't think these officials are doing that. I'm sorry. Watson checks out. DiDonato checks back in. Second and goal from the seven. Gillen was coming in hot from the backside, but a whistle stops play. Guess we were offsides. Well, refereeing has not, of course, we've questioned calls, and that's 
probably bad broadcasting, but he's also struggled with his microphone tonight, making it near impossible for us to hear what he's saying down there. Half the distance to the goal. Going to spot the football at the three. Still second down, second and goal for the T.Y. Tigers. Reese, Petty, touchdown. That Petty's pretty good. Well, Denny, in all honesty, you and I could have ran three yards for that <laughs> touchdown. Anyone that watched us walk up these steps might question that. Uh, well, so you only got to run three yards. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to limp three yards. Yes, we would both be limping three <laughs> yards. But that score makes it 34-14. And Quinton DeBolt comes back out to attempt another point after. 424 remaining. Or I'm sorry, 924 remaining. Kick is good. 924. It's 35-14 senior. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Since 1912, people have enjoyed the delicious taste of Troyer's Trail Bologna. Whether it's off the ring, on a sandwich, or with cheese and crackers, one thing is for sure, you know it will be delicious. Troyer's Trail Bologna, five generations and over 110 years of quality and tradition. Look for Troyer's Trail Bologna at your local grocery store and check them out online at troyerstrail.com. Good luck to all the players in tonight's game. Are you ready for a new choice to stream your favorite music and entertainment without buffering or delays? Introducing Omni Fiber, a 100% fiber network with internet plans starting at only $55 per month. Free installation, premium Wi-Fi, and a money-back guarantee. Visit omnifiber.com slash radio to learn more. Welcome to the Fiber Hub. Thirty-five, fourteen. Tigers on top of the Quakers. Phil, a key turnover led to a short scoring drive for Mansfield Senior. Key, no, key turnover there, and oh boy! Now C.J. Carlisle got tied up trying to field that ball. Batted it down. Didn't have a great catch angle on it. Carson Long there to recover for New Philadelphia. But he's going to be down inside the 10-yard line, given the 8-yard line, first and 10, New Philadelphia, and a long way to go. My apologies. No, it's not 13-yard line. DT was right for once. Fossil, the quarterback. Toss sweep to Richardson. Richardson now cuts it up. Got some room. 15, 18 yard line. That's the first time we've seen that. Nice looking little toss. Yes. Yes, it was. Clock running, 9.05 to play. Senior Lucas Yeager trots in with the play call. Quakers break the huddle after the first down run. Fossil looks left, now fires right. That's Carson Long out to the 20. Bill, you're thinking maybe that's a little contact after the play? That was late hit, yeah. Late? That was rough in the passer. Wasn't any question about that. I don't think it happens every play, but. Fossil has done a, uh, he's had a tough night in the stat column, but that was a uh, tough completion. And he has done a solid job of hanging in there and taking the shots because this Tiger team keeps on coming. 
Man in motion is DiDonato. The give is up the middle to Richardson. Etney with it. Etney to midfield. Nope, just shy of midfield at about the 46. Couldn't break through that last shoestring tackle. But a Pam's Posey's performance play. Another tough yardage run for Etney Richardson. Richardson again takes contact, spins, driving his legs. Gets to the 49. Those athletes up front, Nye Petty, 6'2", 180. Closes that run out. Now move the spot back a yard to the 48. As the bizarre life of this officiating crew continues. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that got moved back a yard. I never heard a whistle. Fossil looks right, pumps, fires right. Tried to get it to the big man, Owen Shellis. That's incomplete. As we watch back on replay, Shellis with a nice little post move, good shake, got free, and that ball was even too high for the 6'6 senior. Yeah, if, he's not, if he can't catch that, that ball is, that ball is a little high. Fossil on the snap is going to keep it himself. Gets across midfield. Down to the Tiger 45. Lost the football. And, Phil, they'll say Mansfield Sr. has it. Yeah. We'll watch our replay to see if the ball came out after he hit the turf. Dismuke on the recovery. Well... Let's see what the flag mess is. That must have been chirping going on once again. I mean, it's, they need to get this stuff under control. They really do. And I'm talking about both sets of coaches. Mansfield's coaches and New Philadelphia's coaches need to get their kids under control. So it looks like they're going to march the football back, so a call against the Tigers. Spotted at about the 23-yard line. But nevertheless, they have the football. Another Quaker turnover. Fossil with some tough running, but a couple of times tonight, Phil hasn't been able to finish them out. Credit Mansfield Sr. for poking and ripping those balls away. Seven sixteen to go in the contest. Reese with the snap. The big lefty is looking. Now he's going to get brought down. Miles Tyson. Tyson, who has been a pleasant surprise as a sophomore. It's probably the defensive MVP a week ago. Oh, there wasn't any question about that, Denny. This he had a fantastic game. Uh, against the Ashland Arrows for sure. Good to see him get loose. Four yard loss on the play. The give this time is to Brown who's gonna work right side. There's Tyson again. Miles Tyson with back to back tackles. I'll say Mad Dog over there as well, Aiden Matthews. Mad Dog kind of an unsung hero out there in the secondary. Cleans up a lot of messes. 
Third down and 12. Reese with time, steps up, shuffling right, plenty of time to throw, throws middle. This is Dismuke. He's going to get dragged down from behind. And let's see. Jackson Corns. Boston Crowell on the stop. They needed 12. And a generous spot gives them 12. First and 10 Tigers, 534 remaining. Give up the gut this time to Brown. Brown with those legs churning. Oh. Tackle by the Mad Dog. But not before that bruising back was able to move the stakes again. Clock running at 5.05. First and 10, senior. And now they're being very patient, very deliberate, getting their play calls in. Man in motion, left to right. Now they give to Brown. Brown tries to take it outside, gets the corner out there. Midfield, 45. Gets into Quaker territory, down to about the 43-yard line. Move the chains again. Well, these two backs have been punishing. Yeah, they're both pretty good. They run the ball hard. They run hard. First and 10. Ball at the Quaker, 43. Three receivers left, one right. The give is in the backfield to Brown. Brown straight ahead. Nice tackle on the play that time by Zach Rothrock for a very short game. You know what? Obviously, this didn't go the way the Quakers wanted it. And so I'm kind of interested to see how it'll go next week how they bounce back from this game. Second down and 10, as they say, no gain on the last run. Reese gives this time to Petty and another nice tackle. Short gain, Gilland and Rothrock combine. Move the marker for about a yard. Brings up third down nine. 3.05 remaining in the contest. Tigers successfully salting this game away on the ground. Play clock at 10 and Tigers is very casual about things right now. Snap is back. Petty. Garrett Dillon Ryan had him in Philly, took him down wrestling style. Petty never went down. He rolled over the tackle. Yeah, well, that's where you've got to get you've got to get him on the ground. Brings up fourth and four. You got to get him down on the ground. That's the bottom line. Two ten remaining. Ten seconds on the play clock. Reese is going to fire. Had a man just over the outstretched fingertips of Jermaine Bradley, and that will turn it over on down. I think he was trying to throw it through him. <laughs> to be honest, boy, that was a fastball. That, that was the fastball. That was a fastball. Holy smokes. And we're under two minutes to go. 157 remaining. Quakers down 35-14. They'll take over the football at their own 
37-yard line. Carter Watson checks in. C.J. Carlisle checks in. It's Richardson behind Fossil. And Etney's got it. Etney with a cut gets a yard, maybe two. Boy, am I sure glad I brought my, my sweatshirt and wore some long pants tonight, Denny. Got a little chilly. Well, it wasn't chilly when you got here in your sweatshirt <laughs> and long pants. <laughs> well, if I could close these windows, it would be a lot better, but I wouldn't be able to see yeah, through the glass. Yeah, you would be glass. able to see. They, the last time this glass was cleaned, <laughs> you were still teaching at New Philadelphia High School. I was probably school. playing here. <laughs> Richardson works left side. Gets across the 45 up to the 47. That'll put him about a yard shy of a Quaker first down. Third and one with 55 seconds to go. Don't forget to stick around for our post-game show, all of the numbers and coaches' thoughts on tonight's contest. Snap is back. Richardson's got plenty to go on that one. Crosses midfield, gets across the senior 45-yard line. 30 seconds. Richardson putting spoon to mouth, saying continue to feed me here. There's just 20 seconds remaining. We probably won't see another play. No. And that will, in fact, do it from... Arlen Field, New Philadelphia falls tonight to the Tigers, 35-14. to 14. Stick around. Our postgame show is up next. This is the Sports Voice of the Valley. It's time for a Quaker cheer from your Quaker cheerleaders, brought to you by the Grove Gift Shop. The Grove helps you show your school spirit with New Philadelphia Quakers door decorations, Vera Bradley bags, water bottles, picture frames, and more. The Grove on the Boulevard in Dover. Go with us! We are Philly! Conley Hillier and Welch Title Services can assist property owners with navigating the real estate sale and closing process and sale by owner transactions, including home sales and vacant ground sales. The staff at Conley Hillier and Welch Title Services prepares purchase agreements and transfer deeds in sale by owner situations. Give office manager Renee Beam a call at 330-602-1800 to discuss your sale by owner matter. Hi, this is Zarek with Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. How healthy is the air you breathe? When air quality outside is bad, you can breathe easy inside your home with air purifiers, high quality air filtration, and other fine products from Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. We are your local train comfort specialist in downtown Dover, providing 24-hour emergency service since 1981. For all your home comfort needs, call us at 330-343-5511. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. There are a lot of steps between conceiving, carrying, and cradling your baby. No matter what stage of motherhood you're in, our team at Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital will be there every step of the way. From your first visit to your first baby, we provide expert care right in the Tuscarawas Valley. Our team partners with each patient to create a custom birthing plan, ensuring the comfort and health of you and your baby for every care in the world. To learn more or schedule an appointment, visit unionhospital.org motherhood. Everyone will be talking about tonight's Quaker football game at Michael's Restaurant tomorrow morning. Stop into Michael's for a homemade breakfast and recap tonight's game with your fellow Quaker fans. The eggs and home fries are fresh, the coffee is endless, the hotcakes are stacked high, and Quakers young and old will be reliving tonight's game. Stop in for a bite and show your Quaker pride. Michael's Restaurant is open 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. tomorrow at 134 East High Avenue in downtown Philly. Locally owned and operated by proud Quaker alum Doug McCahill. Go! Quakers. Welcome into the WJER Radio postgame show. 
Uh, New Philadelphia takes it on the chin tonight, falling to a very talented Mansfield senior squad, 35-14. to I'm Denny Trimmer. Phil Tidrick has been with me all night. And, uh, Coach, uh, just as we get the postgame show started, maybe some initial thoughts. Well, initial thoughts is that the Mansfield Tigers took it to the New Philadelphia Quakers up front today. They took them to them, the, to, not so much rushing the football, but just giving their quarterback time to throw. And when he did throw, he was fairly accurate. And the Quakers did rush for a bunch of yards uh, again, but they took away, they completely took the Quakers out of their passing game. And sometimes it's the Jimmys and Joes more than the X's and O's. And tonight, uh, some Jimmys and Joes played really, really well for Mansfield Senior. The final score here, 35 uh, to 14. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we will break down all of the scoring uh, from tonight's contest. We'll have our subway player of the game coming up, followed by our Kemp Insurance post-game stat report. That's all up next on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Pets Place in New Philadelphia is your locally owned leader in pet supply and wellness. Pets Place has products for pets from fish to ferrets, from bunnies to birds, even reptiles, and of course, everything you need for cats and dogs. Stop by and talk to one of their knowledgeable team members about the frequent buyer program. Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 8 and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 6. You can also visit at PetsPlaceOhio.com or on Facebook. Attention local businesses. Are you looking to expand, invest, or start a new venture? This is Chris Delatour at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We know that growing your business takes more than just hard work. It takes the right financial partner. At CSB, we offer a range of commercial lending solutions tailored to your unique needs. From equipment financing to expansion loans, our team of experts is ready to support your success. Call or text us at 800-654-9015 to discuss your business goals today. The Commercial and Savings Bank, empowering local businesses. Member FDIC. Let Sugar Valley Meats help you get ready for the game with all your tailgate favorites. Their retail store features the freshest locally raised beef, pork, and chicken. Enjoy freshly cured and smoked meats from the Sugar Valley Smokehouse, along with bologna, hot dogs, jerkies, and more. They can custom cut your order, and all meats are dressed on site, all with everyday low prices. Sugar Valley Meats, State Route 39 to Dutch Valley Drive, turn right and go a quarter of a mile, celebrating over 30 years of fresh, farm-raised local meats. Subway is upping their game with the All-Star Subway Series menu. Like number 16, the All-Pro Sweet Onion Teriyaki, a new twist on an old favorite. Or number 18, the new Ultimate BMT with salami, pepperoni, and Black Forest ham topped off with extra provolone. And all of the new Subway Series subs are piled with cheese and fresh, tasty toppings. I can't wait to try them all. It's the Subway Series menu, Subway's tastiest menu yet. And we're back at Arlen Field in Mansfield where New Philadelphia comes up on the business end tonight, falling 35-14. to 14. Uh, Scoring, when we look back throughout the course of play tonight, uh, really Duke Reese uh, led the way for them with three first-half touchdown passes, two in the first quarter, uh, one to Amar Davis, the second uh, to Dismuke. 14-0 after one. New Philadelphia answered on a 95-yard drive, capped off by a Keaton Fossil 22-yard run. And then before half, it was Reese to Davis again. Uh, that second time, 35 yards out, 21-6 to the score at intermission. Kind of a backbreaker. Down 21-6, New Philadelphia started on defense to start the third quarter and gave up a long scoring drive, digging the hole at 28-6. to but New Philadelphia's offense said, we're not done yet. Uh, they drove the length of the field. Uh, some big runs and a couple of penalties helped. Edney Richardson cashed out from one yard uh, for the touchdown with 4.26 to go in the period. Keaton Fossil with a two-point run made it 28-14 to 14 after three. And then uh, Petty was able to salt the game away, <clears throat> pardon me, on the ground. Uh, cashed out a long drive or a short drive following a Philly turnover. Uh, with a three-yard touchdown run, uh, making it uh, 35-14, to which is our final score. Again, 35-14, Mansfield senior over New Philadelphia tonight. 
Uh, Phil, we're going to go ahead and list our Subway player of the game. Uh, you hate to go back to back to back uh, with a bunch of stuff, but uh, Richardson statistically would maybe tell you that, but I really like the way Jordy Dela Cruz played tonight um, defensively with a, uh, an interception, uh, a big goal line stop, uh, had a, a key run to set up the second score before coming out for a couple plays with injuries. Uh, I really like the way he played. I'm good with that, Denny. You know, he had a couple of catches, uh, not a lot of yards, but had a couple of catches, made a couple of nice moves, set up the Quakers. Uh, down on the goal line and for their last score. And uh, defensively, he, he intercepted a pass and also had another one that he knocked down. So uh, that's a good choice, Denny. Our Subway player of the game, Jordy Delacruz. Congratulations, Jordy, a, a senior uh, for the new Philadelphia Quakers. Great game tonight for Jordy Delacruz. Let's take time here. When we come back, we'll have the Kemp Insurance stats and uh, – we're going to start to tie this thing up so we can get back on the road. Quakers fall 35-14. Back with more right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Are you in the market for a new car or truck? Insurance rates vary greatly from car to car. So if you're in the market for a new car, light truck, or sport utility vehicle, it pays to call the Handheart Insurance Agency first for a quote. Find out what it will cost you to put your new vehicle on the road before you buy. The Handheart Insurance Agency, a trusted name for over 100 years on West 3rd Street in Dover. Hi, this is Zarek with Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. How healthy is the air you breathe? When air quality outside is bad, you can breathe easy inside your home with air purifiers, high quality air filtration, and other fine products from Dover Philly Heating and Cooling. We are your local train comfort specialist in downtown Dover, providing 24-hour emergency service since 1981. For all your home comfort needs, call us at 330-343-5511. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Welcome home to the serenity and the hospitality of the Hennis Care Center in Dover and in Bolivar. Since 1947, four generations of the Hennis family have stood as leaders in the area with up-to-date facilities and caring, compassionate staff. With the care, safety, and happiness of every resident in mind, Hennis Care Center is a home filled with love, laughter, and amenities like chef-prepared meals, rehabilitation services, and social activities. To learn more, visit them online at henniscarecenter.com. Katie, I don't know how you get to work so early. And you even have time to stop at McDonald's. It's so quick with the McDonald's app. I order and pay from home, pull into the pickup spot, and they bring my food right out. Or I can just run in and grab it from the pickup area. I always remember the app once I'm already at McDonald's. But that's okay. Just use it when you order at the drive-thru or inside. Open the app, get your code, and you'll earn points toward free McDonald's food. Plus, the app is loaded with daily deals. Mmm, suddenly I'm having a Big Mac attack. That sounds good. I'll order it from my app. The McDonald's mobile app. I'm loving it. And welcome back to Mansfield, folks. New Philadelphia comes up on the short end tonight, falling 35-14. to 14. It's time for our Kemp Insurance post-game stat report. You can get nationwide on your side by calling or stopping by to see Don Kemp, your local nationwide agent, your local hometown agent for over 35 years. Coach, what do you have? Okay, thanks a lot, Denny. Uh, for the game, the Mansfield T.Y. Tigers, because that's how they announced themselves, uh, obviously came out very victorious tonight. And uh, on the night, you had the Tigers threw for 176 yards. The... Running backs and the quarterback ran for 170 yards. So the the Mansfield Tigers had, I had them for 306 total yards on the night. For New Philadelphia, New Philadelphia threw for 57 yards on the night, and I had the Quakers running for 200 yards on the night. So the Quakers had 200 and um, 57 yards total for this basket or for this football game here tonight. Uh, we're going to take a short break and come back with individual stats for tonight's football game between New Philadelphia and Mansfield Senior. 
To be a success in football, it takes a team effort, a smart coach, a take charge starting lineup, and cooperation. Don and Nathan Kemp and the team at Kemp Insurance are dedicated to providing a strong lineup of plans for a winning future. Let Kemp Insurance provide you with all star coverage for your auto, home, farm, business, and life. For a secure future, get the winning team at Kemp Insurance on your side. Kemp Insurance, your local hometown agents for over 35 years on East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Okay, welcome back to tonight's wrap-up of New Philadelphia's loss to the Mansfield Tigers here at beautiful Arlen Field. Uh, for the Tigers, uh, they were led in rushing by Petty, 17 carries, 63 yards. Brown, 12 carries, 57 yards. And the quarterback, Reese, had eight carries for 50 yards. So, you know, they, told, you know, they totaled. You know, 100 and about 170 yards rushing for the game. Through the air, you had, uh, as soon as I can find my stat sheet, you had the Tigers who went 9 of 21, 176 yards through the air and three big t- touchdowns. Leading receivers, you had Davis, five catches for 92 yards and a couple of touchdowns. You had Dismuke had three catches for 65 yards and a touchdown. Okay, for your new Philadelphia Quakers on the evening, the Quakers were led uh, on the ground by quarterback Keaton Fossil, who rushed 17 times for 110 yards. I had Anthony Richardson rushing 19 times for 90 yards. And uh, Bolts had two carries for four yards. Through the air, Fossil was four. Five, he had six. He had six of twenty for fifty-seven yards. Uh, no inter, no interceptions. Uh, leading receivers, you had Donato two for twenty-five. You had Long one for twelve, and you had Dela Cruz two for seventeen. The big thing, one of the big things that hurt the Quakers here today, was the fact that they had bunches of penalties in, the, especially the first half. And then also turn the ball over three times on fumbles. That's that's our Kemp Insurance post-game stat report, a service of Don Kemp and his team at Kemp Insurance, your local nationwide agent on East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Well, the Quakers will look to regroup. We'll see you at home next week. uh, Trailing, or they fall tonight, 35 uh, to 14. And certainly Coach Johnson uh, and staff will rally the troops circle the wagons, and uh, get this thing moving back in the right directions. With the loss, the Quakers fall to 3-2 and two on the season, while Mansfield Sr. moves to 3-2 and two on the season. Quakers with their first loss in OCC play, now 2-1 and one in the conference. Mansfield Sr. 2-0 and oh atop the OCC. For our friends at Claxon Communications, thank you very much. For everyone back at WJER Radio, thank you as well. Phil, thank you for your great work tonight. As always, always a treasure to work with you. And, uh, folks, most of all, uh, we don't pull this off without you, uh, the viewers and the listeners. And uh, we want to thank you very much for joining us. The final score again from Arlen Field. It was Mansfield Senior 35, New Philadelphia 14. I'm Denny Trimmer wishing you a very good night now. You've been listening to high school football action with the new Philadelphia Quakers on WJER, online at WJER.com and on the WJER mobile app. Special features in the game included the first Federal Community Bank football forecast. The Wendy's starting lineup. The National Anthem, sponsored by VFW Post 1445. The Commercial and Savings Bank, Keys to the Game. The Grove Gift Shop, Coin Toss. Play-by-play coverage, brought to you by Hanhart Insurance. The Tuscarawas County YMCA Kickoff. Make the Call, sponsored by McInturf Realty. The Pam's Posies Performance Play. The Modern Menswear Halftime Report. The Kemp Insurance Stat Report. The Game and Scoring Summary.
Brought to you by Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital, the Pets Place Red Zone, the Cartoons in-game score, the Kent State Tuscarawas scoreboard, and the Subway Player of the Game. Other sponsors included Troyer's Trail Baloney, Wood Electric, Pen Grazios, Cua Refinishing, Sugar Valley Meats, Omni Fiber, Henry Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Michael's Restaurant, Dr. Nathan Springer Orthodontics, Connolly Hillier and Welch Title Services, Williams Floor Covering, Hennis Care Center, Little Caesars Pizza, Solid Rock Photos, Smartway Communications, Dover Philly Heating and Cooling, the T County Boxing Academy and McDonald's. For the best New Philadelphia Quaker coverage all season long, keep your radio tuned to WJER. Listen online at WJER.com and download the WJER mobile app. We are the sports voice of the Valley, WJER.